tools of judgment ready. Let us begin. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So, we're at turn 80. We have all the Imperial Authority that we need to confederate everyone, but my biggest concern at the moment is Wissenland. Because it's actually proven to be very difficult to drop the fealty any lower than what it currently is. And if it doesn't drop to 2 or 1, they're not going to declare war. Um, we also just got like an extra bit of fealty with them just because of 5% each turn. So... If that never triggers, I'd have to straight up declare war, and I won't have enough influence to stay in the positive, if that is the case. So, Wissenland is definitely a huge concern. Um, these guys here are bound to... Um, to hate us, are bound to declare war again eventually, I just have to wait. Um... And of course, we've got Greenskin Invasion, which we can pretty much just keep blocking. Yep, hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Alright, so... Um, mainly just want to keep the Greenskins at bay for the time being. Stay in ambush stance here. The chances of us ambushing are 55%. But if I pop in some heroes in here... Um, we can increase that by... So, some items on the heroes. We can increase it by, um, you know, a bit. Oh, I don't think we've only got one of those items. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm not too concerned about chucking extra Winds of Magic in for a Death Wizard here. This is a Confederation army. <laughs> I would not have recruited this. Although, the Hellstorm Rocket Batteries are good. Um, You're not right, Dad! We should definitely just keep an eye on this situation here and just block them. And if we're lucky, the dwarfs will just sort it out. And we need to send Carl Franz to help out over here because we have issues. Are you some? Oh, okay. No. Um. Okay, so I think we need to block this dude here. I will stop them. We're also not making as much money as we were before. And a plague is ravaging this area here, which looks like it'll last about three more turns. So if Carl Franz does get hit by it, it's not that bad, apart from the fact I can't really replenish out here that well. Um, hmm. Working on... Finishing Volkmar the Grimm's Doomstack, we can now recruit heroes at rank 19, which is super good. But yeah, money's just a bit of a problem. And with Plague hitting here, we're going to be taking Attrition. Hmm. Empire. So yeah, I've got a lot of tough decisions that I need to make. Because yeah, if we want to get this done within 20 turns, a lot needs to be done in a very short amount of time now. Yeah. yeah. So we can declare war on them in 6 turns, but it'd be okay if we do it in 4 turns. Um, Balthazar Gelt should be okay to handle the whole thing on his own. Thanks to blocking enemy armies. Maybe have um, Gotrick just take out low hanging fruit like Gorsal over here. Where did those other armies go? So, Coron is probably not going to be too happy about me declaring war on Marienburg. They're actually friends, but uh, got to do what you got to do. Got to keep an eye on everything. And also hoping that they just outright declare war on us, but given our strength ranking difference, it seems unlikely that they'll do that. I'll be able to negotiate with a thousand more, as long as they don't declare war on me. Um... 
to bypass that alliance. Hey, Lemon Pledge, how's it going, dude? So yeah, big question, where are we going to send Carl Franz? Everywhere we go out here is Plague. So there's always a chance that we're going to get caught out by it. If we have a look here, we only got them to 9 fealty. Um, getting them to 10 fealty shouldn't be too difficult. My biggest question here is this one. Whether to keep trying to get them down, because like we we got them down so much, but it just, it just didn't do enough. For the time being, just keep blocking their armies. Tools of judgment ready. Report. I trust no man. Speak. And just see what happens. Um. Sit a while and listen. Yeah, gotcha. come over here and just recruit a bunch of garbage. Just just basic crap. So that we can take out uh, Gorsal. May need to declare war a bit earlier than that still. And while I definitely want to recruit for Volkmar, I'm just concerned about uh, money. Plus, we still don't have um, his knowledgeable life wizard. So, yeah, there's some things happening. Tested positive for COVID yesterday morning, so been better. Stopped about 19 hours. Oh, sorry to hear you got COVID, dude. Hope you get better soon. Alright. Yeah, that army there is heavy duty. Some of my other armies can probably deal with it, but I can easily handle that one. Needs more money. Because we're also undefeated in this campaign so far as well. Which I'd like to try to maintain. Hmm. Well, it seems most likely that we will confederate Ostland before Ostermark. So, why don't I... Welcome, my countrymen. Why don't I come in through here and we'll invade Clan uh, Molder through this way? Okay, I'll stay at Kappelberg for the turn. That way, this guy here can catch up. There's a chance I'll get plagued. Best to stay outside the settlement in that case. But we'll just, just see what we can do. Yeah. To the provinces. Okay, they didn't build money building here. Need to do that. Uh, am I selling any furs? Uh, I've got trade agreements, so that would be good. Need cash. There is also this building here, which I'll build that eventually. Let's go with this. Yeah. Mass confed soon. We've already done a mass confederation. Yeah, it's it's happening now. We've got the imperial authority. Just need the. Just need it to trigger. So, confederating Sterland would be good. Because that's a... Just easy three settlements there. Can just disband all their forces and that just make us some more money. I could maybe disband some of these heroes here to save some money. But they're getting me growth there, which is what I wanted. Which really isn't that important. Let's just get rid of the non-noble ones. This will just save us a fair bit of money. Yes, son of Sigma. Yes. Yeah, so keep the noble Sigma. ones. How much should they save me? About two hundred gold each. What do you now I've got a, I've got some extra income from trade followers. That'll what provide a tiny little bit of money, not heaps. Yeah, yeah, that's my smuggler. Okay, that's fine. I am what are we researching? Right. Mm-hmm. 
Do you use the Empire Captain heroes? Can't see a lot of them in your armies or campaign map. I don't prioritize them. They're not they're not that good. Um, I'm gonna bring this guy back around here. I don't have the resources to deal with um, Clan Spittle right now. You need to keep an eye out over here just in case Greenskins come up that way. Uh, we'll have a look to see if we can establish some more trade agreements. No. Nah. Might be able to get some money out of these guys. Nah, I've already asked for money from them recently. How do you strike the balance between overextension and being too passive? It just comes down to practice. You know, you just take on what you can feel like you can handle. Like, you get a feeling for when you've overextended, and you'll also get a feeling for when you've been too passive. Like, if you're, if you're not fighting many battles over a course of several turns, you're probably not expanding fast enough. Which is actually, which is kind of what happened over the past few turns. While I was focusing on Imperial Authority, we weren't really expanding elsewhere. Not that I really could. We had played a pretty strong diplomacy game out here. Um... So yeah, there are three elect accounts ready to go for Confederation. Nordland, Ostermark, and Sterland are ready to pop at any moment. They've both got ten. Sorry, not Ostermark. Um, Sterland, Ostland, and um, Nordland. Uh, Ostermark will require a little bit more convincing, it seems. Uh, Ace of Jacks, 89. Hang on. I did a $5 super chat. Long time watcher. Thanks for being an engaging sh stream while at law school. Not a lot. Late, not a lot lately though. What is your favorite newly discovered cheese? Uh, the, uh, my favorite new one is the Imperial Authority cheese that we did uh, quite a bit of yesterday. It was really good. Now I'm out of money for that. Oh, I really want to declare war on these guys, but I have to wait for them to declare war on me. I actually hope that event happens first, because that'll be the easiest to deal with. Not the easiest to deal with, but it would be the best way for me to get some money. Alright, I don't really need to block them. While this army sits in here, there's... As long as we don't... Oh, the plague's not going to last much longer. As, um... Yeah, so I can send these guys off to go check elsewhere then. I don't need to block their armies. Alright, alright. Uh, let's do some construction, but only if there's economic buildings, because I just got to try to increase my income. Like, like that. There, there we go. That, I won't get anything else done. So yeah, every single turn here needs to be as efficient as possible to try to get this shit done. Uh, in terms of sending relations out, we'll see what we can do when this resets. It shouldn't be too much longer. I'm actually thinking that it may have been a better idea to try to increase fealty now. So I think declining to defend their settlement was a mistake in hindsight. We could have been at five fealty then. And low relations can be removed to 6 fealty, and then get them to 8 with high fealty pretty easily. But yeah, the stuff with Wissenland, they're just in a middle ground there where I just can't really do anything. That's the big problem. And they've been so passive in this campaign, just sitting there doing nothing. We just have to, just have to hope some events happen. Alright, let's move on. Don't worry about these undersized skills, just witch hunters. Any chance you can get some more trade? No. Okay. So yeah, we'll get Carl Franz to cross over this river here, make our way up through Erengrad, and we'll attack Clan Mulder through Joyshank. That's what I think is the best course of action. Hit Joyshank, Fort Straghoff, Hell Pit. And cut them off that way. What army composition do you normally go with with Tehenowin? Um, I usually go with a um, Arc of Sotek Bastilladon spam. It's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's it's cost effective. Why not just go kill them? Okay. The purpose of this is to try to get the entirety of the Empire sorted and remain in Imperial Authority. If you declare war on an elect account, you lose all Four Imperial Authority. Four. If they declare war on you, you only lose one. 
Now, I've only got just enough Imperial Authority to confederate everyone. Enough for three. Three Imperial Authority for each Elector Count. If I declare war on a single one of them, I won't be able to get all of them. And remain in a positive Imperial Authority. So, that's just something that we got to deal with. So these two guys here are going to back each other up. If only you would give more of a buffer. Yeah, in hindsight, I maybe should have kept going it a bit longer. But I thought I had enough time to sort out the... Um... I might be able to sack that. Get rid of that army. God, that's so many freaking greenskin armies. Yeah, I w well, the thing is, I would have needed to have done that for four more turns if that was the case. Which, I don't know. Come on, declare war. Oh, no, they would only do it at the beginning of the turn. Oh, his ambush is foiled. Ugh, it's only a matter of time before they arrive. I'll keep blocking them to try to slow them down, though. Because they can occupy Kislev as well. This is interesting. Hmm, this is interesting. Because what I could do here is side with Nordland and just conquer Ostermark. Now, Ostermark will confederate. And that way we'll keep their settlements at, at a high level. Just th That's Imperial Authority that might help us be able to buffer other decisions later. Can only have 19 more Imperial Authority decisions. <laughs> Does it? I really feel the heat. I don't know if we're going to make it by turn 100 now. It's just, it's too tight. It's, it is very, very tight right now. I trust no man. Clan Angren's doing their thing. Um, I think it was Karak here in that um, stopped our Stop that. thing, but it would be good to like just come down here, sack this, and get back. Probably had order resolve this. Yeah, easy. Yeah, easy. And that way, at least we get some money. Don't raise it. Don't raise it. Because otherwise, I won't be able to get away. Because, yeah, now we've got a force march back here. If we occupy that, these guys here will just dogpile on us. Now, what have you to say? Show me the accused. I will stop them. Seek out the heretics. Heretics! Cool. At least that gave us some loot money and leveled up uh, these characters a bit. So that's good. Is it time? Money's a little bit better this turn. So this guy here is at war with Ostland and Ostermark. Okay. I'm trying to help out both of them as much as I can. What have you to say? I trust no man. By the silver hammer. Oh, this guy here. He got caught. Yeah, this plague is really not ideal for us. I, and I may need to declare war on this guy here first. In order to save Kislev. Because I want to get it at tier 4. Really good settlement for us. Alright, if I force March to here, I'll be able to attack him next turn.
Because, yeah, our army can handle this. But let's just hope we don't get plagued. And if we do get plagued, it'll only last a little bit. Why can't you confederate some elect accounts? The low fealty. We will. So there's two elect accounts here that are currently really iffy in terms of confederations. Wisson Lind is the worst one. Um, well, with um, with Hockland, I just intend to conquer them. We'll get an event show up eventually that'll um, just straight up let us conquer them. I'm just waiting for that. Alan Pelen, Felen, uh, did a 10 pound super chat. Been a while since I've given you some support, Legend. Thanks for the amazing content. No worries, it's my pleasure. Thanks for super chat. You dare come at me making demands? Yeah. Because there's so many treaties that we cancelled, we really do need to wait a little bit longer. Which is a shame, because, like, I don't have anything else for Balthazar Guilt to do. He really should be down here. <laughs> but right now, I, I need him out this way. Five chapters to write. Did you miss me? Uh, yep. Speak. Tools of judgment Keep ready. these guys the blocked. Report. Uh, hey legend. Love your content. Um, GJ on the SYDB today. It was a great watch. Alright, thanks, Angry Love, for becoming a member for 40 months. Wow, it's ages. Holy, more than three years, dude. Thanks for the uh, membership. Appreciate it. Um, one thing I guess I could do is... I serve Sigma. Got an idea. Demon Slayer! Ever vigilant. Off we go. An idea. If I put Gotrick in a um, unfavorable position, the they might declare war if they can actually attack him. Because they do like to get the jump on you. Show me the accused. Step to it. Hmm. The nation. Is any more guys to come and help? March on the witches. They will be judged by the comet for Sigma. Um, Bacalaxard became a member for six months. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the Immortal Empire's questions today. Yes? Okay, thanks so much, dude. Yeah, oh, it's always, it's always my favorite part of the day. We should do some co op with other streamers in the future. Uh, nothing is planned at this stage, so we'll just have to wait and see. Alright. Seek out the heretics. So yeah, we've now got two Imperial Authority buffer. So two more than we need if we want to stay at the very least um at zero. Show me the accused. Hmm. Man, I really should not be just sitting around here. But there is nothing else for me to do. I don't have any more quest. Hang on, let's look here. Beast Slayer. No, that's not important. Um, Jade Griffin. Okay, yeah, well, we need him to get some more of these characters first. It'd be pretty fun if we did the Jade Griffin battle and end up losing. What do you require? Which, let me let me just quickly look at that one. It's been ages since I've actually done this battle. Let me just see if... It says it's easy. No, I'll just wait for some more, um... Some more guys. It's not urgent. It's not urgent. We're just waiting on that to trigger. It's gotta happen eventually. Might be worth raiding Marienburg with Gotrick to annoy them. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. I, but I've used up all my movement this turn, so i got to get him a bit closer. But yeah, I might might go and raid them. Typically, i found that raiding doesn't really aggro the enemy that much. Raiding's a really shit stance for the most part. Alright. 
Maria Sleepdorf has been leveled up really badly. <laughs> it might be better to just kick him out and put in a um, put in a bloody arch selector because he's just really bad. Just even a live in a rank seven arch. Oh, uh, then again, him on a flying mount will make a big difference. Freaking death magic. So what we got? What are we gonna do? Yeah, give me that imperial gunnery. But yeah, the green skins coming through Blackfire Pass. We gotta try to slow them down. Now. So massive old Carl's growing. That's good. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to get this to tier five, but I just. I don't have the money. Ready. So yeah, next turn we declare Destroy war on this guy. Uh, pretty much guaranteed. Even if he tries to get away, he can only get to here. I might be able to get to Prague as well. Maybe. The we will see. Calls. They will be judged. Plus the Chaos Invasion is due fairly soon. Okay, upgrade Vert Bad. Alright, uh, let's go build stuff and just... Uh, yeah, we're just kind of in limbo here waiting for things to happen. Alright, there goes all of our cash. Uh, do I need this? Yeah, yeah, keep that guy there a bit longer. Maybe build that. We'll see. And if we have a look at them, good to see fellow sons of the Empire I believe again. someone said it at 192 fealty that they will confederate, so... Well, they're going towards 190. Ugh, we'll, we'll get there, especially if we fight their enemies. We'll get there. Okay, let's move on. Are the war wagons actually good? I can never get them to work. Regular war wagons suck, but war wagons with mortars are, are fairly good. They're okay. So yeah, we met Marcus Wolfhart, but I'm not prioritizing confederating him. If you confederate friendly counts and conquer unfriendly counts, you lose 20 imperial authority. Wouldn't it be worth to rush the conquest? Okay. No. Um, if, okay, if I declare war on Wissenland, okay, I immediately lose 4 imperial authority. And then when Wissenland is destroyed, I lose an additional 2 imperial authority. So I lose 6. Same thing with... Um, same thing with Hockland. We have to wait for them to declare war on us. Okay, we only have... We don't have enough Imperial Authority if we do that. We won't have enough. What about the War Wagons with Hellblasters? Well, that's a regiment of renowned units. And yes, that, that's good. Um, if they build the walls at Akendorf, it'll actually be okay to make the attack because... They'll just sit underneath the, the siege. And just cheese the siege. But yeah, fighting them out in the field will be a nightmare. It just depends if Akendorf is built. But yeah, we gotta clear out some of these green skin armies before we can justify getting it. What the fuck? Doesn't bother me. Carl France got plagued. <laughs> it's only I lost a couple of turns though. Oh, 
like they're backing off. Alright, come on. Imperial Authority event. Yes! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes! Stop them by force. No Imperial Authority lost. Yes! <laughs> That's what we needed. That's what Daddy ordered. <laughs> See, we didn't lose any Imperial Authority, and now we can conquer them. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the plague ended. Alright, cool. Well, I, I am essentially on large unit scale now. <laughs> uh, but, according to this, I can make it to Prague. So, if I smash this easily enough... He's still got it. By the comet. Here, let me just see what's up here. I'm probably going to declare war on that. Yes, blessed is this action. Um, I can cheese that easily enough. Now, ready, ready. Yeah. The Empire. Block that. Speak. By the comet. Yes, blessed is this action. Uh, that's a warlock engineer, not that important, but I probably should have tried to assassinate him. Yes. Or if he doesn't cause an earthquake. Him causing a undercity is not a big deal. Alright, so let's... This is really good, because this allows me to level up Volkmar a bit. And also, um, just... Get rid of... This guy's only purpose was to was to stop their initial attack. That's it. So this will be quite easy, I think. Alright, so... Volkmar doesn't have a siege attacker in his army. Are any elector count... Sorry, any good elector count weapons? Uh, it won't make any real difference. They're, they're, not, none of them are particularly... Like, they're good, but... I don't know. I usually don't bother with them that much. Uh, what did I just finish? Uh, ordnance canisters. That's good. What do we need? Hero capacity for battle wizards. Hero recruit rank for battle wizards is good. Uh, that's good. Might be a good idea to have extra weapon strength and leadership when fighting against Norska since we're about to go to war with them. And that's not going to go into effect now, but do later. Alright, push this guy out of the way. Actually, no, don't push him out of the way. You can pursue him afterwards. Yeah, since Volkmar doesn't have a siege attacker, he's just going to have to reinforce here. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Alright, it says Valiant Defeat, but it's a siege, so it's really not going to be a big deal. Plus, um, we got loads of power in this, so I'm not seeing any problems. Go for student. Uh, I always forget about it, and uh, the student cheese has to be my least, one of my least favorite cheeses in this game. Give Volkmar 15% physical resistance by elector count. Uh, which elector count position is that? So yeah, with the um, the fact that we didn't lose Imperial Authority at all with this war declaration, so that means that conquering Hockland will be worth um, 2 Imperial Authority. It'll cost us 2. That gives us 18 left. So yeah, this war declaration was really good. I just need to... Get that with Wissenland. Well, not right this very second. We're actually not ready for it, but... We'll see. But this is good because um, I'll be able to disband this army. Or send it elsewhere because it's tied down resources. But I'm really glad that that event happened. Look, if we get... Um, if we get 
two or three more Imperial Authority events over the next few turns, then we can justify declaring war on... Oh, whoops. Oh, well, I'm not going to keep it anyway. We can, we'll be able to justify declaring war on um, Wissenland, but I've got to get those Imperial Authority events. Just have to wait and see. Is it Ostland or something near it? Well, I don't have either of those. Either Ostland or Ostermark. I think it might be Ostland, so making him the elect account of a of a position I don't have. Um, can't do that yet, but maybe soon. Why do people say skill trees and women three are worse? I don't understand what makes them worse. Um. Okay, that's a good question. That's a good question. Um, it is not that the skill trees in Warhammer 3 are worse, okay? What it is, it's a combination of things. It's that some skill trees in Warhammer 3, namely Cathay Heroes, they're the worst, have been developed um, in a very uh, short-sighted manner. They increased the level cap, but they didn't actually increase the skills in a skill tree. So what is the point in giving like 10 extra skill points if there is only like 30 skills to select from so you end up with wasted skill points now there are some skill trees in warhammer 3 that are actually really good for example the nurgle heroes they're absolutely fine right the um the plague ridden absolutely fine because you have plenty of choice to spend your 49 points on but the cathay heroes the astromancer and the alchemist they have the most basic skill line. You can, at level 50, you can get a point into everything and have left over. Um, another thing is that, with, in regard to lords, right, uh, generic lords, um, you get 10 extra skill points, and in many cases, those 10 extra skill points are only going to be wasted because there's no, like, like, really good skills to choose from. So the fact that Creative Assembly increased the cap by 10 didn't really help some factions so Cathay is a notable example apart from the dragon lords uh, as in uh, Miao Ying and Xiao Ming uh, Cathay got the got the dick end of the stick with that one because they just don't benefit from it at all and do you know what the funny thing was I told Creative Assembly about this in early access and they didn't do, still haven't done anything about it but I know it, they're, they're slated to do something about it. It's just... Uh, it's, it just seems silly. I don't know why it takes them you know, six months to fix such an obvious problem. It just... Everything happens so slow with Creative Assembly. Absolute snail's pace. It's actually quite ridiculous how slow they move. I really can't make sense of it sometimes. Alright, let's get this one up over here to, um... It doesn't matter if we don't heal him. To cast some Dwellers Below. Okay, we don't have tons of Winds of Magic, but we got double Arcane Conduit, so that'll help. Alright, now another thing. If we pop down heroes underneath here that have Soul Fire... <laughs> Too bad Volkmar doesn't have it yet, it's just not high enough level. Think you have enough warrior priests? No, not yet, need more. <laughs>
Uh, Rise Shib did a 25... Doge? I have no idea. <laughs> 25 something super chat. Appreciate it. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Little dad, sorry I'm broke. That's okay, you don't owe me anything. Get a job. <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't owe me anything. Get a job, you bum. So, send these guys in to fight. You really shouldn't do them all at once like that, but it's fine. And I'll just focus on healing the damaged ones. This is why, um, Warrior Priest with Life Wizard is a really good combination. What the fuck? Okay, it's fine. Guess I should send Volkmar in there as well. really good that ability just a free bombardment spell it's a cooldown Some of them are getting a bit hurt though. Warrior Priest or Patriarchs? Um, I'm not sure. They're both good. In different ways. Probably Patriarchs actually. Because at least they get bear mounts, which are... I really like the bear mount, I think it's quite good. Guys are a bit hurt, but I think they managed to finish off the battle with it. Yeah, imagine if we had a full stack of these guys as well. 
We're just not quite there yet. Okay, I think this will be our last spell cast. I'm fairly sure they got enough health to finish this off. Just need one more of these, I reckon. Maybe just a little bit more. Also, them being small means small arms fires like this just aren't really much of a threat. Jeffrey Witty did a hang on, uh, did a five dollar super chat. Uh, YouTube gave me free money to give you. Have a great stream from Canada. All right, no, dude, thank you for the super chat and appreciate the free money. I guess. Alright, Volkmar, they need you. There we go, there's the army losses. Cool. Bit of damage, but it's okay, we'll recover. I think this guy here is unbreakable. Oh no! Oh, he must have had a crown of command. Somebody must have had a crown of command. They used it on him. Alright, cool. Are they all disciplined or just any trait? Oh, just any trait. There's no way we're going to get that many disciplined by this turn. Unless you, like, save Scummit. Free money from YouTube. What kind of sorcery is that? If you have YouTube Premium, you are able to do a $5 super chat to a streamer once a month. That's what it is. So yeah, it's for people that... It's not really free money, because you got to pay money for YouTube Premium. But yeah, you get one free super chat to give to um, a super uh, a streamer. Think of it like Twitch Prime. Yeah, Loot and Occupy. Need some cash. Yeah, I probably should turn this off. Try to get another student. Should have done that before. And since we really want to level up Volkmar, I gotta get him to rank 16 to get the War Altar. Oh. There we go. Grand Soulfire. Awesome. So he's got the Ore Cure. That's really good. Essentially like the Brass Cleaver. Maybe just slightly better. And we need this guy here to get to rank 22 so we can get an Imperial Griffin. Which will be his siege attacker. That's the reason why the Beast Wizard's in the army. The only reason it's in it. Sigma be praised. Cool. Um. This guy's not disciplined, so if he gets killed, he gets killed. I'm not gonna give him immortality. Immortality is for good traits like this one. Also realized I should have recruited the warrior priest before we left because now they're only rank 14. Oh, maybe I already did. It's, it's alright. It's not urgent. It's not urgent. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Yeah, having missile resistance would be good as well. And let's get them to Instruments finish the job here. Also, horses can provide heal for an entire army. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I, I can't be bothered to do that. Just auto this. Setting forth. Hey, here we go. We got a warrior priest. Okay, cool. So with the brass keep, it might be a good idea to sack it a little bit and get 
him leveled up. Alright, this guy here, Monster Hunter, you're fired. Yeah, we don't need any of this stuff now. He shouldn't need a Siege Attacker for a while. And what we could do is just sack it until... You know, until Volkmar is essentially ready. And just swing back around to uh, Middenland every now and again to go pick up a uh, new Warrior Priest. The wicked flee before me. So this guy here is not going to get immortality. Yep, you get Imperial Pegasus, that's fine. Come back to you in a bit. Yeah, we'll just sack that until we're done with it. Shouldn't need walls here. We can get rid of that. Shouldn't need a barracks. Keep that. Keep that. Repair that. Don't need to... Actually, you know what? I'll recruit another witch hunter. Wait. What, how expen uh, what level are they here? Oh, rank 12? Yeah, I'll recruit here. Mm, maybe not this time. Uh, Tail Empire. Yeah, $3 super chat. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Don't forget the Hockland office. Yep, thanks, dude. Okay. Let's have a look what Hockland does. Campaign movement range. Yes, that's really good. And... Who calls? Yeah, it's not Ostland that gives the physical resistance. The it is Ostermark. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we'll give the... Let's have a look here. Reduced upkeep costs for missile infantry units. I guess I can make... It. Gotrick. <laughs> Gotrick. Is the a new elector count because he does actually have um, missile infantry in his army. Cool. Uh, Shadow Creeper did a five dollar super chat. Just graduated trade school. Thanks for keeping me sane while I work and went to school for twelve hours a day. No worries, dude. Happy to help. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. The reach authority farm. Yep, we did it. We succeeded. Um, however, this is now my only real concern because the fealty is not low enough. For them to declare war, and it's not high enough to confederate them. Now, to get them high enough to confederate, I would need to throw so much inf uh, like prestige at them to get them to like a thousand relations. So this is—I don't know what I'm going to do about about Whistleland. I might have to just straight up declare war on them. I don't know. But all the other ones can definitely be confederated. I'm fairly sure. Alright, now, it sucks that we got the plague there for one turn, but I had to get over here as quickly as I could. Uh, we can... Oh, there's plague over here for one more turn. Still. Alright, well... Carl Francis got his work cut out for him this turn. He's got to take out... That shouldn't be too difficult. It's mostly just melee infantry. Summon the elector counts. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. I believe I have to get their um their relationship above 192 or something. Uh, I'm not going to use prestige. Welcome if I can use money, man. I'll do that. They'll like. Uh, yeah, oh, I have to declare war. My warhounds have not eaten in days. Well, I was going to do it anyway. Here we go. Alright, so we just went to war with both Clan Mulder and the Goromandi tribe. Had to be done. Raise your weapon. Close victory. Order resolve. Might be okay, actually. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to fight that manually, but that is actually totally fine. I really can't see us taking fewer casualties than that in manually resolve. Move. Why Hellblasters have more Hellstorm batteries? Uh, Hellstorm rocket batteries can't deal with single entities. Hellblaster volley guns can. You're actually better off getting Hellblaster volley guns than handgunners. If, if you want to go like full power, these are better because they're like super long range gunners. They got more, way more DPS than handgunners do, so why get a handgunner over a over a hellblaster? 
The only downside is if it gets caught in melee, it's totally useless. Where handgunners can fight a little bit. All right, so we got to go to Prague. So looking at Mulder's strength ranking, they're they're fairly strong. Fairly strong. Yeah, this one here is blocked. It's not going anywhere. Let's take out Prague. So, oh wow, shit. Says we can order resolve it. I don't think we should though, because I can get out of this with taking next to no casualties. They've just got one menace below. That's no big deal. Yeah, I don't think we should be lazy here because we. We don't want to be taking any damage, any more damage. Uh, Kyle McCoffey did a, I hope I pronounced that right, then ate super chat. Do you find flying casters make the game too easy? I, I don't, I don't know. I, maybe. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think about those sort of things. You know, a lot of what I do is about taking the difficulty and making it look like a joke. So, there's a lot of things that make the game look too easy. Magic makes the game too easy. Missile units make the game too easy. Should we just remove all of it? Alright, we just gotta deal with the... initial, um, menace below, I think. And then we should be fine. No warp bomb here, so easy to get rid of that. Carl Franz has got the defeat trait. Okay. Okay, okay, cool. Now then. Now then, now then, now then. Let's let's send him over here. He's got Isabella's defeat trait, so use this to have a bit of a look. What's going on? Alright, let's try to get rid of these Gisales over here. Cool. And the Rattling Guns. Yeah, the Play Claw Catapult shooting at Carl Franz is fine. They're not going to do much damage. And it's, um, you can just regenerate it anyway. Scaven Settlement should be removed indeed. I believe it is being removed in Warhammer 3. I don't think... I don't think this settlement will exist in Warhammer 3. Not Prague, but um, the settlement type. Every single settlement type is being changed, I believe. So, if you want this to be removed, you get your wish. Don't bring the crossbows up just yet, while the artillery still hitting us. They've got more than one artillery piece, so let's just try to bring them up a bit more. Let's get the Hellblaster Volley Guns over here to get rid of the Fort Tower. Does France have Isabella's trait? Yep. All of the Legendary Lords got the Isabella's trait, apart from Marcus Woolpart, who I'm not too focused about.
Cool. And Carfran still has a fair bit of regen. So that's good. Got Winds of Magic as well. You confederate Marcus? No, 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 I haven't got Marcus Wolfhard yet. I've met Marcus. I probably could confederate him fairly easily if I wanted to. I just don't want to right now. It's not part of the objectives that we've set out. And leaving him alone to conquer Lustria is fine. If, he, if the AI levels him up badly, usually don't worry about it. Because Marcus Wolfhard, he's, he's only particularly useful in Lustria. Alright, there's more Gisales over there. Alright, now that we got rid of the artillery, we can bring up the crossbows without worrying about them shooting us. Bring up the wizard as well. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get amazing casts here, but anything will do. Okay, Kofran's go take out that wizard there. It's worth a fair bit of balance of power. Not sure why it's still doing Skaven music. The bounce power should be well in our favor. I don't know. Okay, the enemy lords over here. There might be some stalking units out this way. Guess we'll find out. Uh, just this guy said a two dollar super chat. Um, hey legend, here's my ticket for the stream. Uh, uh, it's cool. You don't owe me a ticket, but it's all good. Appreciate the super chat. Yeah, be better to kill him than get him off the battlefield. However, call friends. God, the single entities are so so bad at it. Oh, I got him right at the last second there. Lucky. Would you give Gore Drenched trait to Volkmar since he can do it easily with army of single entities? Oh, that is a great idea, dude. That is a great idea. The yes, we'll do that. That's a great idea. Uh, you prefer or so you prefer improve or adapt or overcome. Oh, man, that, that's just a weird question. Sorry. Probably adapt. It's just a very weird question, though. Bring me to my men. All right, cool. All right, we didn't Ready. get hit by the plague, so that's good. Hopefully, that's just the end of it. There. And they will be judged. Whichever Let's see how we go. Uh, is Krakadrax? No, Krakadrax gone. Okay. Well, okay. Chaos is due fairly soon. These, this army here should be fairly good at dealing with Chaos. Fairly good at it. As long as there's one army at a time. Oh, give me that replenish troops. We want to try to recover a bit faster. Yeah, there we go. Tools of judgment ready. The righteous hammer of Sigmar. Yeah, see, uh, I can't recruit this turn. But yeah, next turn we should just recruit a unit of something. What does the unless unless I'll just put a Regiment of Renown in. Well, that's a bit of a waste of a Regiment of Renown. Okay, so yeah, this dude here. Um, Stonebreaker. Well, let's just take that off him for now. Tollkeeper. Ugh. 
Oh, I may have done that to him. Alright, I don't need any of these units, so let's get rid of them. And that's say Oh my god. Money problems fixed. Uh, DK did a 20 euro super chat for the many years of cheese. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that. Thanks uh, for the super chat. Yes, General. Alright, we need to build these defenses up here just in case they come up this way. Don't need to do anything there. Um, yep, that would be fine. Alright, cool. Let's keep trying to get Balthazar Gelt his um, knowledgeable life wizard. Yeah. Summon me. Yeah, get that. That's fine. And I think we've still got still got a few more turns. We gotta wait. How many armies do I have? Currently have active four armies. Well, technically five if you include Gotrick. All right, let's set up a situation which maybe we can use to our advantage. If we put you here, in force march stance. Then block just this one. Maybe this army will see this. And attack us. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully that's what happens. But we will see. Another army out here somewhere. Uh, Bourbon Born became a member for eight months. Love me the cheese, but missed my horse sandwich as well. Cheers. All right, no, is it? Thanks to the channel. We had a horse sandwich in this campaign somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, garbage. Uh, they didn't finish building the walls there, so me coming down here and attacking this would be suicide. That army is not good. Not good at all. Uh, our chance of ambushing is okay. Show me the accused. It is currently 65%. I'd rather eat a squeak. I trust no man. Yeah, because this army is really strong. If we want this army to be uh, to beat this, it needs to. Tools of judgment ready. Report. It needs to be a actual settlement battle. Ready. Because <laughs> otherwise, there's no way. No hero in that army to assassinate. So we want to block these armies in order to give the dwarfs a chance to beat them. I'm not really looking to expand out this way. I just don't want to be dealing with like fuckloads of green skin, especially with a shit army. No, was well, attacking would be suicide. Yeah, unfortunately, that army there in a field battle will just roll right over this one. Um, it's just not a very well built army. Just because of the Arachnorok spiders and fast units, all the artillery there is anti-infantry. These guys here just wouldn't be able to cope with them. Um, like, the Black Orcs wouldn't be that big of a deal, but the Savage Orc War Boys, all of these guys here would be terrible in a siege defense. Because they just sit there. They will be judged. I know it seems silly, but that's just the way it is. Seek out the heretics. Do not waste my time with petty talk. May all right, now we want to get a confederation with Ostermark. Relationships heading towards 203, that's good. Let's give them some money. That way they can recruit more troops. Because I believe I just need the fealty to go up a little bit more. I know we could use prestige, but I'm going to save a big... What I want to do is maybe save a huge amount of prestige for Wissenland. And see if I can just massively get it up to 10 um, because I don't think I can get it down any further without an event showing up so we'll just have to wait and see I actually in hindsight I really regret declining to defend their settlement I should have done it in hindsight but you know hindsight's 2020 since when do you recruit war wagons? That's a confederation army. I never recruit war wagons. I just rushed it over here because they declared war. I don't have I don't have time to change it up. But yeah, it's a confederation army. 
Alright, we got some money. Let's see what we can construct for money. That's what I need. Yeah, that's all fine there. It's so weird that they went to war with each other. Okay, we can finally build up Paravon. Uh, what we should do... How long does that take? Five turns. Alright, I think I got a noble character over here. Not gonna bring them back around. Um, yeah, you'll do it. Come over here, knock it down to what, three turns? Cool. Not in any rush to get that done. They will be judged. Yeah, you should stay there. Is that way, improves public lurk? order. And the also, Empire. a trait discipline. Okay, it's fine. So, yeah, just keeping an eye out for greenskins that jump over here. Now. All right, let's have a look in diplomacy and see what we can get. Right, because they're at war with the greenskins. Okay, let's see if the other Azrae, ones will do that. Have my people hunted yours for sport. Do you imagine us equals? Queen of Avalon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all fine. So looking at Tyrion. One of my primary trade partners. Yeah, let's see how we go. So the strongest faction in the game at the moment is, yeah, Nagaron. That's pretty yes. common. But that'll change when Chaos arrives. You know, they used to be the strongest faction in the game, and then the Fire Nation attacked. Can you breaches when you siege a settlement for a long time? What? Can you breaches when you siege for someone? For All right. Can you create breaches by sieging for a long time? No. No, it just gives you more um, uh, siege equipment, which is basically useless. Krugenheim. Nah, just leave all that. Oh, maybe we want to get this to tier 5, don't we? Let's get that going. Okay, now we're out of money. Okay. All right, cool. So hopefully over this next turn... Tools of judgment ready. We get a confederation with Sterland. Uh, Sterland would be the most convenient to get. Uh, whereas Nordland, yeah. Hockland okay. owns Longship Graveyard? <laughs> They're not going to keep that. I travel the world That's hilarious. Jewels, Look, he's got no armies. Bring one to me. Nice. Okay, yeah. Okay. I might need to send... Oh yeah, Volkmar would be perfect for going into here. He'd just completely strip away Chaos Corruption immediately. Huh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Direct me. Alright, that means Hockland has a tiny army sitting over there. Alright, I think we're done for the turn. Alright, technologies, we were... Oh, I was going to do... Well, yeah, don't worry about that right now. Um, what was I going to switch it to? That's pretty good. Melee defense for infantry is pretty good. Yeah, we'll go with state-issued weapons. Okay, and... Yep. Yeah. Levels up here and there to do. Show me the accused. Marcus is dead. No, he's, he's doing fine. Yeah, he's the he's doing just fine. Will hear you. Yeah, just leave him be. There's there's no sense in confederating him now. That'd be silly. Trust no man. Is 
Don't really need the friends corruption when they're each of them are providing ridiculous amounts of untainted. <laughs> Characters 40. So yeah, hopefully Marienburg takes one look at Gotrick out here and makes the attack, only to get fucked by Balthazar Gelt's steam tank army. And that will allow us to start the war sooner rather than later, which is a good thing for us. I don't know where that other army went. It's hanging around there somewhere. Alright, let's uh, move on. So we have 18 turns remaining to get this done. So, having a look at what needs to be done. Uh, whoops, hang on. Uh, how do I set this back up? Um, did you know you could do that? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I'll check it out next turn. Why do Skaven settlements always look ruins? That's just part of their mechanics. They always, um, look like they're ruins. Besides Mindel and Toddy, are there any other unplayable factions with legendary lords? Uh, yeah, the Red Duke. That's basically it. Good. That doesn't hurt me. So they slowly make their way down there. Are we going to see a Beast Wizard Griffin stack? Probably not. Race. Click race group or sort by race. Oh, okay. So I'll just, it'll automatically do that next turn. It's fine. Well, here's the thing. In an ambush situation, this is totally fine. I thought I blocked this army. Yeah, I fucking did. That's why I came over here in Force March. Well, good. Yeah, we can do this in Force March. Because, yeah, we got long-range artillery. Um, still going to be difficult dealing with the Arachnorok spiders. I mean, it's not like they take no damage from Hellstorm rocket batteries. Red Duke, Boris, Alistair are all legendary lords. Yeah, yeah, Alistair is part of Attain, though, so he's playable. Yeah, you can't start as him, though. Also, Alistair's not really a legendary lord. Not really, because um, he's a made-up character, whereas the Red Duke and Boris Toddbringer are not. But legend, you said in a field battle that it'd be impossible. Ambush battle's different. Ambush battle's different. Alright, so we should probably stand a bit further back. Try to let them get set up a little bit. They're not going to rush at us. Yeah, aim at the, uh, aim at the center of their army there. Alright, I think what we should use first are the war wagons with mortars, since they are useless at dealing with single entities, but good at dealing with infantry. Let's use up their ammo first. Each of them pick a different target. And bomb. Good thing we got Spirit Leech for getting rid of single entities, though. <laughs> right. These guys actually can't fire at the ground, so I actually need to specifically target units. God, 
Oh, there just had to be fucking three Arachnorok spiders in this army. But the plan here is to try to cause the army losses without even having to fight the Arachnoroks. Just take out everything that we can deal with, rather than focusing on everything that we can't. And yeah, the Hellstorm rocket batteries do do a little bit of damage to the Arachnorok spiders, but they keep moving into the trees there a bit. Hang on, stop, 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 stop. We got a unit incoming over here, which is fine. The small arms fire can deal with that. It's just one unit, no big deal. Okay, good at shattered. All right, so, 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 so. Mortars haven't done that much damage, but you know, black orcs and all that. The huntsman will be all right at dealing with with the Ragnarok spiders. Okay, try to move these guys a little bit more over this way. So in terms of damage being done, they're definitely dishing out damage, they're just not getting kills. Yeah, they've all done a good amount of damage. Just not necessarily kills, because uh, Black Orcs do have a lot of hit points. Okay, if the war wagons run out of ammo. All right, you guys. Yeah, aim, aim for in here. I really need to do as much damage to the Arachnoroks as possible while they're blobbed up. Come on, give me them army losses. <laughs> He's doing damage to them. Alright, I should be very careful about using up more ammunition if we want to preserve balance of power. There's one thing to use up all the ammo on the mortars, but I don't know if I want to do that with the Hellstorm rocket batteries when shooting at single entities. Okay, now, these guys here are on horseback. If I could lure a single... What the fuck did you shoot that for? If I could lure a single unit of... of Arachnorok spiders, or just like one unit at a time, bring them over here. That could be fine. Because, you know, we've got small arms fire here. Using up all of their ammo is fine. Except for the Huntsmen. Need them to take out spiders. The Huntsmen spiders. Cool. Let's see if they'll send another unit. They'll send the fast ones first. That's it, come at me, bro. Good. Snotling pump wagons are good to deal with. Come at, come at me, bro. Yes, I didn't even have to deal with them. That's what we wanted. <laughs> okay. Uh, which is better to take down? Large units, handgunners, or huntsmen? Which is better to take down large units? Oh, okay. It depends. So, if the large unit has armor, then handgunners. If the large unit doesn't have much armor, then huntsmen. Because... Huntsmen don't have that much armor piercing. So, for example, if you're dealing with a um, rogue idol, then you're actually better off using a um, a hand gunner because it's got armor piercing, like shitloads of damage dealing, than a huntsman. Even though the huntsman has 
anti-large, that anti-large will give them a lot of, um, will, will be blocked by armor. But if you're going up against something like a giant, then a huntsman is better because the giant's got no uh, armor. Does ambush battle affect opponent's unit leadership? No, not really. It just affects the AI, that's all. Makes the AI dumb. Which is the greatest benefit. Like, that army, if we had fought it in a field battle, there was no way I would have won. And in that situation, I didn't take any damage. Uh, staunch line of war wagons when? Uh, I've tried that before. Uh, I've, d I've done it before. I'm not going to do that again. Just watch your first wins against Prussian Prince. Great fun. Any chance you might do some multiplayer sometime soon? Nah. I'm, I'm done with multiplayer. Lord. Your power is incalculable. It's... Alright, cool. And I we practically fully recovered there, so that's good. I trust no man. Ugh, I should have got rid of that. Show me the accused. Now I saw that Skaven army. Oh, did it go into ambush stance? Or did that army take it out? I think their army must have taken it out. Must have. Because if we have a look here, there's no Skaven corruption. What? They will be judged. Shit, I have no idea. Could have gone into... I blocked it, though. Let's have a look over here. There's nothing there. I saw that the Warlock Engineer was heading down this way. Onwards! March on the witches! Okay, have a look at Fall Ostros. We gotta know what's going on. Hmm. Don't cross wires. We didn't get an Imperial Authority event this turn. That's not good. Deliver your missive and then get Okay. I don't have to finish off Hockland, necessarily. I just I said I would take over the Empire. If they're if they're over here, then that's fine. That means if we could somehow manage to get Wissenland to go and occupy one of these settlements out here, but they're so passive, they're not gonna do anything. The nation calls. Yeah, you got wounded a little while ago. Get over here. Thy Sigma's will come in peace. So be it. Agreed? I am Prince. Ooh, she's nearly make it all the way to Hell Pit. So, Throt's gotta be somewhere. Uh, I don't need to take Volksgrad right now. It's of no real value. There's no armor be uh, army being made there. If you could just have a little bit of a look ahead. A wise move. Okay. The Empire. Summon the yeah, I should have demolished that last time. We need to start building walls here. Ready. But let's get ready for an attack on Hell Pit. This army should be able to handle it fairly easily. Can't see... There could be armies in ambush out this way. But I've been keeping track of them. I think Throt's over here. So, just come over to about here. Here. Bring me to my men. And then next turn we'll reach Hell Pit. In the name of Magnus. Seek out the heretics. I trust no yeah. man. I didn't see what happened to that army. Did it get killed by Ostomar? Forward. 
How do you fight Woolwagon 8 plus as vampire with skeleton spam? Try to get them to waste your ammo on lords. Like, just run back and forth and they should waste it. Okay, they didn't launch the attack on us. I was kind of hoping they would, but they didn't do it. Still gotta wait. If we attack them, we'll probably go down to lower, uh, low, very low reliability because we cancelled so many treaties. The more treaties you cancel, the worse it is. They will be judged on March. If this army could come and sit in Ackendorf, <laughs> that'd be good. So he can move all the way to here. That's not too bad because there's only one Arachnorok spider. Only one. It's not too bad. Alright, let's have a looky here. Alert, ambush defense chance. No, I need ambush success chance. Yeah, give me more of that ammo. I trust no man. Yeah, block him. Heretics. So if I go and capture Akendorf now, it should be fine. They wouldn't be able to launch the attack with that army at least. Tools of judgment red speak. But still it is only a tier one settlement, not like it's worth much. Seek out the heretics. Keeping an eye out for other fuckers. It. Is green territory for us, though. Have we found Marcus? Yep, we found Marcus. Remember the sacrificial unit for Volkmar? Yep, yep, yep. That's a good Volkmar point. Okay, let's... Alright, let's use a regiment of renown. Uh... Yeah, the Sigmar sons are best for that, I think. All right. All right, let's do that. So yeah, we'll, we'll sack this. This, this is, I think it's a good idea. All right, so what we want to do here, this probably won't make sense, but we need for this unit over here to get absolutely smashed in this battle so that we get a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, even though we only lose one unit, because we lose more than half of our army, we'll always get a Pyrrhic victory in that case. Um, and if we get, if we do this several times, Volkmar will get extra health. And since he's already such a tank, giving him 20% extra health is a big deal. Since we're training him up anyway, this trait is quite good. So yeah, what we do here is we just send this one by itself to go get completely obliterated. Well, actually, it needs to be reduced down to, say, 40 troops. And since it's unbreakable, we can just let that happen. We just need to lose 50% of our army. So yeah. Shoot me, daddy. Bring it down to, I don't know, 40, so that we can at least replenish afterwards. Yep. Yep, that's enough. Don't get it wiped out. Okay, it, should be, it shouldn't be wiped out. Okay, we'll definitely get a Pyrrhic victory now. <laughs> An unbreakable unit is good, because that way it doesn't route too early. Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> now, we probably need two Pyrrhic victories in order to get our first uh, step to the trait. So, yeah, if we have a look, we lost two-thirds of our army. 
which means we guaranteed the period victory, if, uh, even if, you know, the battle actually went really well. Okay, suck it. Onwards. Oh man, that uses up a lot of movement. To get into there. So I also need to get back to here. Setting forth. No, we're not getting much replenishment. Because I need to recruit another warrior priest. Hm, noble. What do you require? Sigma, grant me strength. This guy here needs to get to rank twenty two. So he gets his Imperial Griffin. Hulkmar needs to get to rank 16, so he gets that. Let me see, do we need this? Diplomatic relations with men, Empire Kislev, Southern Realms. Hmm, could be useful. Cool down to battle prayers. That'll help get the Confederation with Ost. Mark. Flamey attack for the Lord's army. Ugh, it's not that good. Hero action. Yeah, yeah. Strength of the penitent for the entire army is good. Gotta get two of these. Theogenist, following Sigmar's path. See, so yeah, yeah, it's not replenishing enough. So we need to make sure that the last point we put in is for somebody that's got a lot in replenishment. Let's see, these guys here don't. That guy there does. Okay, so make sure we level him up last. And that way we'll get maximum replenishment because it updates as the last person who was adjusted. That's whose replenishment ticks. Because yeah, it doesn't stack. Also, while we're here, we're getting pretty good um, growth into this province. What? And then if we put a point here, yeah, My decent replenishment. Cool. What do you require? Alright, cool. That's good. So yeah, looking at them, heading towards 277, a confederation offer should be coming in the next few turns. Show me the accused. So if this plan over here didn't work, we'll just come back Making over here. Yes. And I'll just recruit some more stuff. I am ready. Keep that guy waiting there. I trust no man. March yeah, I have no witness. idea where that other army went. Could be heading over here for all I know. On march! Tools of judgment ready. Seek Should probably assassinate this one. Recruit a flagellant for Volkmar each turn to use as a soak. Uh, yeah, but I can't recruit while I'm in Force March. I have to move around a little bit. It's fine. We we've got a unit. I can recruit another regiment of banana if I need to. This, this is fine. Tools of judgment ready. I serve no master. My power is theirs. Show me the accused. Yeah, if this army here gets ambushed, we're fucked. Here. Absolutely fucked. But he... He never defeated Skarsnik, did he? No. We took out Skarsnik, but we didn't de personally defeat him. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Seek out the heretics. Godtrek Gernishan! You summon me. Cleanse the Empire. Hmm. I don't think Litov has three campaign movement followers. 
Um, I don't think I've got availability for that, but we definitely should give him something. We don't... Yeah, he's got the messenger. I don't think we've got another scribe available. We don't need that. So let's go to... Road Warden. That could be good for Carl Franz. Considering he's got to deal with fucking Skaven. I am Prince and Emperor. Don't need that. Yeah, we want to reduce their chances of bloody ambushing us every step of the way. Uh, Christopher Zimmerman did a 5 euro super chat. Hey, Legion, thank you for your good work. Is the Empire campaign one of the best in Wormer 2? Uh, it's okay. I, I don't know if it's one of the best, but people do seem to like it a lot, so it's up to them. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Alright, pretty much no matter where this guy goes, we should be able to stop him. And, and uh, at least wound him. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the biggest concern here is dealing with um, Wissenland. I don't know if we're going to be able to get rid of them without spending a lot of... Um, um, either a lot of prestige or a lot of um, Imperial Authority. We just got to see what happens. Yeah, I'm happy to, like, hover around one of Marcus's armies and just, like, block enemy armies as I see fit. Help him out a little bit. Alright, we've got some money. Let's do some construction. See if we can... Yeah, we definitely want to prioritize money. Helps with emergency situations. Uh, yep. Mid and stag. Good for money. Doesn't need walls. It's safe. Doesn't need anything else. Don't need growth. Guess what we could do is uh, build this, so we get our um, uh, global recruit slots up. And then there's this here, where we could build... Could build this for extra Lord Recruit rank, research rate. Yep. Only takes one turn, that's good. Research rate is as good as money. Actually, why don't we switch what we're researching and do Purge of the Ruinous Breeds. Okay. And I think I'll just save up the rest of that money. And Marius just... Keep holding onto this area. We'll, we'll figure something else out for him. Will be judged. Wouldn't actually be a bad thing to put some cunning er heroes in here if there's any available. Nah, nothing available at the moment. Unless I find a wizard. Oh, there we go. There's a. Okay, so this is weird because. If we put the uh, the disciplined one in Volkmar's army, that's fine. Then we can put the knowledgeable one into Gelt's army. Eh. I really can't. Alright, look, I'm going to recruit this one, just for now. The main purpose of him is to just give us extra ambush success chance. Because if any, any greenskins come rushing through here, we want to be able to stop them. That's really important. Alright, so I wasn't going to put a knowledgeable one... In, sorry, I wasn't going to put a um, disciplined one in here. But beggars can't be choosers, so just need to get on with it. Needs a life wizard. And extra melee attack for the... Um, extra melee attack for this army is not bad, because their melee attack shit. Leadership is obviously useless. Warrior of Sigma. Oh yeah, we just... I can't make the attack yet, gotta wait. Might be able to attack Hell Pit next turn. Maybe we'll spot Throt. Greenskins are not threatening us, but we need these, um... Imperial Authority events. So... 
What's the minimum number of events we need to have happen in order to finish what we need to do? So one, two, three, four, five. Five events need to happen. We've got 17 turns and five events. You can only have one happen every turn. So we need one to happen at least every three turns, roughly, if we want to get this done in time. <laughs> so that's gotten, it, that's gotten it pretty fucking close. So we'll see how we go. We should get a bunch of them real soon. I don't, I don't know how we're going to get this without a war declaration. I have no idea. Do you ever put Empire Captains in your army? Not usually. Oh, that's good. That'll give us defense chance. Why is your screen shaking? Oh, it's probably bumping it. Oh, I fucking wounded my hero. Good thing I've got loads of them. Alright, we'll be able to assassinate him. Oh, their army was there. I, they did go into ambush dance. Son of a bitch. You can always attach and detach and reattach heroes for best bonus. Yep, you can do that, but I didn't have any movement, so that wasn't going to work in that particular scenario, but you are completely correct. Alright, whatever Grimgore gets up to now is fine. I hold Galmaraz. You may bow. If he loses the condition, then he needs to restart the campaign. No, I'm not starting again. It's just that's the goal, and if we don't achieve it, so be it. I just I've never done it all by a turn 100. This is the closest I've ever gotten to confederating them all, owning the entire empire, before turn 100, via diplomatic means. Obviously, obviously you can conquer it, but you'll end up with uh, negative imperial authority if you do that. The whole point of it is to conquer it all and remain in positive Welcome, Imperial Authority. Nah. Hey Legend, looks like CA is nerfing Torox and Scarbrand. You think that's a good thing or bad? Mm, it's not something that I uh, would have focused on. But let's be real, they're both kind of overpowered, so you know, it was kind of expected. Alright, what's coming? Alright, here we go. If we exert their independence, it'll be turn 106 before we can get another one. So, we need to accept it. Oh, no. They're gonna declare war on me. I can sail over to Norden. But then, what about, I can block that one. Wise. Knowledgeable. Nice. I'll keep that for now. The fraud is all. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'd be very surprised if they didn't declare war on me over the end turn. I trust no man. So what we need to do is have Valmir come over here. Oh god. Oh, God. I might need to actually make the attack. Strike first, or else you'll be the first struck. That's uh, not convenient. Show me the accused. What? What? Was that an Ostland he hero? Must have been. It's not one of mine. Oh, 
Wait, who is that? Seek out the heretics. Okay, I'll come back over here. Hang on, let me look at this. Oh god, they're not gonna win that. I can force march down here to try to stop them. Oh, they're gonna bring Kislev down to tier 1. Blocking it at this point isn't gonna do anything. God damn, Ostermark, why do you have to be shit? I trust no man. And our army is not really designed for defending a city, especially against this. It actually won't do a good job. Field battle, even then, probably isn't going to work. Ostermark assassinated the Doom Engineer. Ah, right. Okay. Well, cool. They did that. Yeah, I just couldn't keep track of what they were doing. Yeah, blocking that army is useless. The wild makes warriors. I've got this army over here, which I could send to assist. If I, mm, yeah, mm, uh, mm. Thing is, if I force march to here, what they'll do is back off and just ambush me. Unless... That oh, might be something I can do. No. Oh, fucking bloody brood horrors, though. Who calls? The wild makes warriors. So, Ostland provides nothing particularly useful. Basically, whoever's fighting um, Norska. Oh. Wait. Yeah, I can still put somebody in here. Um, if I put somebody who's going to attack Throg yeah. this turn... Yes, my lord. If only I had somebody that had lightning strike. Wait, I might be able to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. You have need of me. All right, you need to block the this Empire. army over here. Speak. Tools of judgment ready. Direct me. Looks like I can still take help here. Oh, shit, they're at the relationship for the extra fealty, but it hasn't happened. Ooh, that's not good. Well, maybe it'll happen next turn, because sometimes you got to keep it over the, the turn. Yeah, faction-wide trade bonus follow-up. Might want to sign it. it. It won't make that big of a difference. Yeah, income from tariffs is not a big deal. Alright, this guy here won't be able to assist. Regal's good. I'll keep you. Onwards. But get off your horse. Huntsman General. You're fired. You are fired. And let's have a look at you. Yeah, you can stay with that. Give that to somebody who's actually active. Okay, cool, that saves a lot of money. Man, look at the difference. Okay, that army will probably be able to move to about here. I don't think you'll be able to reach Erengrad. Oh, I need to build walls here. Um, Who calls? How are we going for pottery? I gotta get rid of one of these buildings. Okay, get another witch hunter. Oh, not my capacity. All right, look, if we're at capacity, just get rid of that. I need to build walls here. I will marshal the bed. This guy needs to come to Norden. He'll have yeah, not he needs to go by sea. He'll have a little bit of movement Come left on. over. Then we tag him out for somebody. If we have a look, if we kick him out. I think we can recruit at rank 8 now. Let me just check. No, we can recruit at rank 9. At rank 9, we can get Lightning Strike. That way we can pick at these armies one at a time. Starting with Throg. Um, nobody else is going to be able to get there in time. So, Throg's army is 15 size. We've got 12, so we're going to need more troops. 
But I also need to have a look at what he's got. Uh, looking at this army here, there's nothing too bad in here at all. Oh, there's a witch hunter here. Um, yeah, just keep it. So, so we're going to want the best of... Depends what they've got, though. But yeah, i got to get rid of it. Uh, Cornbread became a member for 14 months. Great stuff as always, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the chat. Alright, you moved to Norden. Take up the pace. Not much movement left. None of this is... Uh, apart from the Imperial Pegasus, none of this stuff has been leveled up well. Um, kick him out. Get rid of all this shit. For somebody new. I think we're better off with a Huntsman General. Go with Huntsman the extra General. campaign movement range. We need to get Lightning Strike. And then that'll give him a tiny bit of extra campaign movement range. None of these other things here are overly important. What's the quarry? Okay, that'll allow us to strike at these armies one at a time. Then we just have to make sure we're strong enough that we can actually beat it. Okay, now I can see what they've got. Because, yeah, if, if we don't strike them, they're going to strike us. There's no two ways about it. Confirmed by CIA and Discord, Izzy's trait will no longer be obtainable. Great, great, great choice. <laughs> cool. That's, uh... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yay! <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I don't. I don't know why they would would do that. But whatever. You know, it's their choice. Let's remove stuff from the game that people like to do. I just. I just don't understand CA. Huntsman General. Yeah, we want to design this game so that people don't want to play it. Whatever. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, okay. We do need the Sunmaker. It is an emergency. And we'll probably need the Royal Alt of Griffites to get rid of the... Get rid of the Skin Wolves. And we'll probably need this one here to get rid of Throg, along with this one. And this one. And this one. 18 units versus his 15. To untamed lands. I think that's enough. Tremble, Empire Man. Your destiny is eat us. Tracker of this. Cool, we can just auto resolve it. Casualties low, the remaining army is nothing. Okay. This is what we trade for. That's more than enough to deal with this the other force. As long as I can catch him. Huntsman cool. Now, if that army was to make the attack here, it wouldn't succeed. Um, what we should probably do is block him first. Because, yeah, we got more than enough here. Yes. here they are. And that way, Leave no one behind. hopefully we got him. I believe people were actually requesting the hero change, though it wasn't out of a nowhere. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's fine. I just don't. I just. It just doesn't. It's not something that I personally like. Um, you know, I'm just not hearing any good things that I like at the moment for, for my mortal empires, you know? But I don't know. It's, it's not a request that I made. What? So, you know, if that's what people want, then then maybe that is what CA should be doing. But, I don't know. I, I just don't particularly agree with it. Strike first, strike fast. I'm feeling mercy. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens when, the, when it actually comes out. If CA do just about anything, people will complain. No, that's not true at all. That's not true at all.
Sia can definitely do things and get very little complaints. But the problem is Sia come up with these um, harebrained ideas that just, just aren't very clever at all. And then people complain. Um, I think that what they're doing is just... You know, it's, not, it's just not that good. I don't really want to talk about them anymore. They're pissing me off. This is the Isabella von Karstein. Uh, okay, so... I really want to try to save... ...them here. So what we can do is force march over here. Still got some more Regiment of Renown. Let's get them. I can force march over there to here We're there. and then tag him out. For. Let's go with an Arch Lector. Arch -lector. And that way we can go into Encamp Stance. That will prevent them from being able to ambush us. And we want to grab the work of God. That way we get the strength of the penitent, making our army stronger. Um, we've got Empire Knights, don't we? Yeah, so that might be handy. Do we have any fast units? Yeah, they're relatively fast. Okay. Well, I'll put you on a regular war horse. See what I can do with that. You can go with them. Okay. That way, when these guys here launch the attack, we can reinforce them, because we're technically defensive allies. Now, another thing is if we block him, if he decides to run away, we can catch him next turn. You also have elect account troops. Yeah, I usually go Regiment of Renown first, then elect account troops in terms of priorities. So, you're absolutely right. But we're at full stack now. So, oh, well. that's It's enough. It's enough. Because if they attack us... The garrison out here will come and help us. And I feel like this is strong enough to be able to repel this. Because it is damaged. It is damaged. I sh it's a mess of an army, but I should be able to manage it. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Remove the Vlad's defeat trait and give him Isabelle's win-win. I'd be totally fine with that. I'd be totally fine with that. I think that's good. Yeah, I don't want to see Isabella's trait gone. It's it's a fun one. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I think it's one more turn until war declaration. No, two more turns. Although we can maybe get away with it next turn. Because we don't want to lose all of our agreements. Uh, Tools of judgment ready. Die. It is time. I will stop them. Raise Sigma. Seek out. What have you to say? They will be judged. Alright. If we were to take Varenka... Uh, sorry, Akendorf. Oh, that army's garbage anyway. So that's fine. Trust no man. I think an army went up this way, but... Oh, but that was a stronger army, wasn't it? Maybe I should have checked. Because, yeah, from here, they can potentially move all the way to Akendorf. I serve no master. I should have checked. Show me the accused. Force march there and change the lord. Uh, that's what I did. Arch Lector. Now, All right, let's take Hell Pit. In the name of Magnus. So, raise your weapons. Now, this is one of the more difficult Skaven settlements to attack because the layout's not super easy to deal with. It's got loads of trees in the way, so artillery gets obstructed. 
But taking this out will cripple them. You need to get rid of these heroes before they assassinate. Oh, critical success. Before they get rid of my guys. Seek out the heretics. Yeah, that guy's not gonna be able to move. I didn't hire you. Show me the accused. Heretic! I trust no man. Tools of judgment ready. Any chance you can make it into the Looking city? Ahead. Uh into the army? No, the won't make it. Is there anything anti large here? Uh, okay, grab this one of the state troop. Just because they've got so many brood horrors, it would be good to have something to tie them down a bit. I haven't seen Gorich yet. He's got to be out there somewhere. Whichever woeful death. Hmm. The knowledgeable nerf made me mad. Um, yeah, yeah. They will be judged. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. It seems to me like a lot of the stuff they're doing for Warhammer 3 is to piss off one side of the community just to please the other side, which was already happy in the first place. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Alright, looks like we can just auto resolve it, which will be a lot easier because our replenishment rate is pretty good. No, you just get wiped out. Cool. That's totally fine. Yeah, because I hate assaulting um, Hell Pit. It's such a pain in the ass to attack. Yeah, Luton Occupy will be fine. We should be able to maintain public order. With 113 <laughs> characters of with Untainted. Yeah, let's strip away that corruption. We need to build walls here right away. This is not really a great place to have that. I'm not going to be recruiting here. Uh, that's okay to have this here because it provides a global bonus. So, um, get rid of that. Keep that. And we'll get another witch hunter out here. Tools of judgment ready. See, I think part of the problem with Warhammer 3 is that every decision that Creative Assembly has been making splits the fan base. you know? They're not making good decisions. They're making decisions that split the fan base. You know, they make something that some of the people like and other people don't like. It just, everything just keeps splitting the fan base more and more and more. And it's like, not what they should be doing. Um, there's absolute nonsense design being done in Warhammer 3. Absolute nonsense. Siege rework? Absolute nonsense. Magic rework? Nonsense. Um, trait rework? No nonsense. Doesn't make any sense why they're doing this shit. Defender of the faith. Mm, I may need to recruit another unit in here if we want to continue getting the, um, the trait for... for Volkmar. Here's another unbreakable one. Do they have a missile unit? Because otherwise they might end up... Yeah, they do. Okay. the Grim. We probably don't need this guy here anymore. But we should probably just keep him nearby just in case. Until Norton is walled up. We're, we're, oh, no, we are not okay for money. <laughs> we are not okay for money. Moving off. I really like the new corruption system in Warhammer 3, though. Um, I'm mixed about it. Like, I just don't care. Like, it's it's fine. I tolerate it. I just I don't just don't really care one way or another. Didn't do anything for me. You know. I swear, every single time, though, somebody comes out of the uh, Total War Discord and says, Hey, Total Creative Assembly said this. It's like, oh, I don't agree with that. Every every single time. 
you know? It's like the opposite of what it was like with Warhammer 2. In Warhammer 2, they would make changes and I'd be like, I 100% agree with that. Like with the Beastman rework, pretty much agreed with everything that they did because it was all fun. But like with Warhammer 3, it's like, nah. Don't agree with any of it. Well, I don't agree with most of it. Not any of it. Okay, replenish pretty quick. Okay, we need to get walls up here. Well, extra defenses, that is. If we can repel this here, then... We'll be able to disband this army. So, it's mostly temporary. Oh, look, I can switch that. Maybe try to save a little bit of cash. Alright. Let's get ready to make this attack. Um... Yeah, see, if I want to get the bloody trait this turn, I would have to get the Sigmar Sons wiped out, but I don't exactly want to waste a Karabur Greatsword on it. Because it takes 10 turns from the... Oh, hang on. Swords of Ulrich. Yeah, I don't care about them. That's fine. The Righteous Hammer. Serious question, is there anything about Warhammer 3 that you actually like? Yeah, there's a few things I like about Warhammer 3. It's just that I think the negatives outweigh the positives. So, you know, talking about the things that I do like about Warhammer 3, um, I like the diplomacy rework, but I also don't like the way that the AI interacts with the diplomacy rework. So, um, it's like, it's a double-edged sword. Um, the, the new strategic threat system is kind of stupid. Um, same thing with the potential system. I think it's it's really backwards. Um, I really like the item fusing. I can't complain about that whatsoever. I think that's great. Because that is just a straight up upgrade, right? That's just good stuff all around. Um, I like minor city battles, but they're way too frequent. That's about it. About it. It's about the only things. Oh, uh, I like quick deals, which was part of the diplomacy thing. But yeah, pretty much every other change in Wormer 3, I don't agree with. Um, Inquisitor Chase did a two-dollar super chat. Do you have a favorite area of the overall map? Not really. Thanks, super chat. I guess that's enough casualties in this one. Is that enough? Because we lost 60... No, I need to lose a little bit more on this one. You move back. I need to lose a little bit more on these guys. Because i got to lose a little bit more than half, because these guys here aren't going to die. Okay, that should do it. All right, let's go kill him. New factions also good, mate. Oh uh, yeah, the fa the new factions are good. Yeah, for sure. I I'm down to play new races. But if you remember ages ago, people asked me what do I want out of Warhammer Three. I actually said um, I don't want them to change anything from Warhammer Two. I just want them to add six new races. Honestly, if they had done that, if they just added six new races, I would like Warhammer 3 more. But that's not what they did. They made a whole bunch of changes that some of them are good, but most of the changes I feel like are actually not good. Like, I, I dislike the siege rework. I think it was actually a bad call to do it that way. Good, another perfect victory. Why are you letting them get killed? We're trying to get the bloody trait for Volkmar. So you have to take 50% casualties. So I lost a little bit more than 50% there. And we should get this time because it's the second perfect victory. Because, yeah, what I'm doing is um, uh, training them up. Moving 
Moving out. Oh, is he gonna make it back? Yeah, he's gonna make it back. What? He didn't get it. May have to do it one more time. Alright, at least this time we can recruit a spearman to go get... Oh, I don't need to recruit that much. And we'll just let the spearman take all the damage. Yeah. Let us forge our faith. Paul Strong did a twenty dollars super chat. Wormer two is such a fun game, and design of Wormer three is baffling. We all can't stop talking about it because it makes no sense, confusing and disappointing. But love watching you play Wormer two. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And the the problem is as well. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Is that some people? This is the biggest problem with Wormer three, right? The split fan base. No matter what you do, somebody wants you to do something else. You know, some people just do not want us to talk about Warhammer three at all. And I get it. I don't particularly want to talk about Warhammer 3 either. It pisses me off, right? Some people just don't want to hear about Warhammer 3. So we don't talk about Warhammer 3. And then the people who do want to talk about Warhammer 3, they get pissed off. They're like, why is he talking about Warhammer 3? You know? Some people like some of the things of Warhammer 3. Some people don't. Every single thing about Warhammer 3 has a split opinion. It's so fucking irritating. You have me. And the thing is... If you have split opinions like this in the community, that means the game design is inherently bad. Because if you look at what Warhammer 2 did, everybody that played Total War, War, War uh, Total War Warhammer pretty much agrees Warhammer 2 is fantastic. There's no split opinions. The people who don't like the, uh, Warhammer 2, they just don't like Total War Warhammer in general. Like what Warhammer 2 did, when Warhammer 2 came out, nobody played Warhammer 1. It was just dead, dead on arrival. It was gone, right? But that didn't happen with Warhammer 3. Warhammer 3 came out and split the fan base. That's a problem. That means that they didn't do a good job. Because that didn't happen with Warhammer 1. Oh, sorry, Warhammer 2. You know, game came out and everybody, apart from a few people, um, went over to Warhammer 2. Everybody did. That was before Mortal Empires as well. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Why isn't it talking about Warhammer 1? Well, that's the great thing about what Warhammer... Like, the difference between Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2. Hardly anyone plays Warhammer 1 anymore. Because it's completely outdated. But Warhammer 2 is not. You know? They had four years to develop it. There are some small but pretty annoying things in Warhammer 2 that were just not addressed at all in Warhammer 3. The things that people have been talking about for ages, like, I hear the artillery bug is still there, but I've, I haven't actually counted it in Warhammer 3, because I don't, don't actually bring artillery that much to sieges, because there's, there's a different way of cheesing sieges in Warhammer 3. It's about capping the town square really quick. Um, you know, things like um, how single entities are very difficult for enemy units to run down, that wasn't fixed. You know, that wasn't addressed at all. Uh, there are some traits that are bugged. That'll probably still be bugged in, in um, Warhammer 3. I don't know. I have to, actually, I have to say, I have seen other YouTubers basically ignoring their chats and super chats. Just want to say thank you for outstanding... So big thanks, love you interacting. Yeah, it's fine. Um, in terms of other YouTubers, like a lot of them are multiplayer guys, and they have to focus on what they're doing. So it's not you can't really expect them to constantly be reading the chat. See, I can take a break and like read the chat because I think it's an important discussion because we're just playing single player. There's not anything urgent going on. All right, so yeah, we still got to wait at least one more turn there. Blessings of Sigma upon you, defender of the faith. Should I get another one? Yeah, I'll get another one, just to absolutely make sure that he gets the bloody trait. The and get rid of this one. Of that way it starts to cool down. Whereas that one will already start to cool down. Is he time? Gotrick's ready to hit Gorsal. And then... Oh, I don't know if he'll... Hang on. Do we have artillery here? Yeah, we'll send Gotrick to Gorsal and then Arnau. Oh, nicely done, Nordland. Of course, that means I have to bloody take it. <laughs> I'll just abandon it if I can. Um, Sigma be praised. This guy here does not get immortality. 
this guy here does not get immortality. I would have labeled him if, you know, if it was. Same thing with this guy. Yeah, I don't know if I should come down here and just take this tier one settlement. Like, Maris's job is to just keep the greenskins out of here. That's his only job, really. Alright, what else do we need? That would be good. Yeah, that would be good. Since we are recruiting new lords every now and again. Your orders? Okay, I don't need this. What would I build there instead? Honestly, there's nothing else that I really need. Maybe the public order building for extra... Well, I don't need to increase which hardened capacity that way. So maybe I'll leave it there. At least have one place where I can build it. Don't really need to upgrade that right now. Pop down the edict for money. So, we still need four more elect account events to happen. But we've got 16 turns, so now we've got a buffer of one every four turns that they can show up. But we should have another one next turn. Hopefully it's Sterland. Sterland is the, the most convenient to have happen. And this one here... Shit, I don't know what we're going to do about Whistleland. I don't know what. I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage that one. Because I just I couldn't get their fealty down fast enough. Like, we had their relation down minus 400, and it was still only minus 1. It just wouldn't go down any further. You know, we raided them, we did agent actions, I used influence to decrease their their stuff. Nothing worked. Um, yeah, nothing worked. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I hope we get lucky with that. There's nothing else I can really do. Just hope that they declare war. Alright, I'm going to focus just on money-making buildings. Nothing else. Because our money is looking really bad at the moment. But that's just because of the confederation. Obviously, there's some shit going on. So that's good. Oh, hang on. Yep, build the money. Get the trade resources. The really important question, like Endgame Crisis and other things, will come out in the video this week. Um, okay, I, I don't think Endgame Crises are actually important at all, because... Um, well, okay, so th they are important, but I think that they're less important as... Um, okay, look, if an Endgame Crisis happens at turn 150, let me ask you guys, how many of you guys quit your campaigns before turn 100? Like, I, I quit most of my campaigns before turn 100, right? Now, if the, the core mechanics of the game don't keep you interested up until turn 150, you'll never deal with the, the end game crisis. And I think a lot of the changes that they're making um, fatigue the player out and people quit their campaigns early. Like being forced to uh, fight every single battle manually, for example, fatigues the player out. Um, you know, Reaching maximum potential super early fatigues player out. Uh, that kind of stuff. So, having good endgame crisis is great, but you've got to make the game enjoyable up until that point, or else people just won't experience it. Because, like, I'll just, I'll just end up quitting my campaigns. Because they get boring. But we'll see, we'll see. Forward. So, just keeping an eye on all the stuff over here. Seek out the heretics. I'm not really doing anything with him. Just staying here to increase the ambush success chance. Uh, go with public order. You go for three inch turn. Oh, yes, some people continue to full map completion, but I don't think a lot of people do. Yeah, it's not like nobody does it. 
All right, that's fine. Make it optional. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They might do that. All right. Uh, yeah, that was pretty silly of them because I can probably make it back to Erengrad. But of course, they don't realize that I can do that. Get bored of playing the exact same battle a thousand times? Yeah, and that's usually what the endgame crises are like. Like, from a from a historical point of view, every endgame crisis that Creative Assembly has ever done has just been spam the same army 20 times from Mongol invasion, Timurid invasion, um, Attila invasion, <laughs> Chaos invasion, um, Norman invasion. It's just always, hey, let's create one army, spam it 30 times, and then there you go, difficulty. But it's not difficulty, it's fatigue. Imagine if it, if it was the endgame crisis with one army. just It just spawned one army, but that army was so damn strong that... It, and it kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Imagine that. That would be an interesting in-game crisis. Like, the AI created just one Doom stack. Just one. And it, like, had loads of campaign movement range, so it could outrun your armies and co uh, constantly catch you. Realm Divide? Uh... Re yeah, Realm Divide... Yeah, that's that's different. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, here's the oh good the confederation with Ostermark. We got the the ten that we needed. Ugh. All right, three more to go. Salzenmund. I don't know what we're gonna do about this. It's getting better. We'll loot, we'll go back up to four real soon. I don't know what else I can do. I will marshal the bed. Cool. I actually have enough armies to um, get rid of that. Good thing we blocked him. Servant of the faith. Okay, we probably want to block him again. That way, he's really not going anywhere. Uh, Cornbrand did a five dollar super chat. Can you cheese any more Imperial Authority to eat the penalty of declaring what sucks that they are being obnoxious? Uh The only thing I could think to do. is when I confederate Flensburg here, when I confederate Stirland, to actually abandon Flensburg and Needling. Then I will store Stirland and leave Flensburg a ruin, and then they come over here to uh, ruin dwell it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Because the thing is, I had I had Karoberg ruined world for ages, and they they didn't even budge. These guys here just will not move. If I abandon Grunberg and they take it, I can't tell them to give it back to me. Can I? Can you make Nordland and Wissendland go to war? And side with Nordland? That's interesting. Maybe. Or maybe I can make Hockland and Wissendland go to war with each other. Problem is they haven't had any diplomatic contact.
They can't declare war on each other. So let's have a look. Wissenland, Nordland. They haven't had any diplomatic contact. Sterland. Interesting. That's a good idea, dude. If I make them fucking hate each other. Wissenland declares war on Sterland. Of course, if... Alright, here's the problem, though. If Sterland gets confederated next turn, I can't tell it to go away. <laughs> so, it could backfire. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll create a backup save file at the end of this turn. And um, we'll see what happens. Because I don't want to waste all the prestige. I'm only going to get one shot at this. That, that's not a bad idea. But I, I can only do it with Sterland. There's no other option. All right, we gotta we gotta sort out this money problem. So, as I said, I think it was pretty silly that they did that because I can't actually make it. But I didn't think that they would realize I could do that. Huntsman General. Yeah, the AI doesn't realize it when it, you um can like travel by sea. They don't track that stuff. Just use Sterland. Yeah, the problem is though, next turn Sterland might confederate, and if I get if I get the offer, I have to take it. And it takes time for them to hate each other. That's the only problem. Like, if we had done this a few turns ago, that was actually a really good idea. Really good idea. Um, yeah, that, that's, that is really clever. I've never done that before, but it might work. Greetings. Honestly, if... If Karakadrin takes Akendorf, eh, I should take that. Akendorf is a green territory for us, and there's no more green skins around here for now. By the silver hammer. So, yeah, we should be free to take Akendorf now. It's not like it's going to be super valuable. Okay, get rid of this. Warrior of Sigma. Alright. Impossible. Arch Lector. Purge the heretics. My journey begins. <laughs> so what I did there was I ran around the back so he didn't I, I suspected that he was gonna run away, right? And what I did was ensure that this guy here could catch up. Now we should actually be able to auto resolve this. Because I wasn't sure if this army by itself would be able to. Yeah, I only need the victory because I want to disband all these forces anyway. What happens if you conquer Wissenland? Uh, loss of Imperial authority. That's the only thing I'm worried about. We still have two more confederations to make. Okay, let's have a look here. It. Let's see what we've got left, left to deal with. We've got Nordland. So that's three Imperial authority that needs to be spent. And we have Sterland. Three Imperial authority. So that's six Imperial authority. That will bring us down to eight. We have to conquer Hockland. So that's two. That brings us down to six. Ooh. Hang on. If we do this, won't it actually... Won't it give them diplomatic contact? I don't know. Because I've had war declarations between elector counts before that are far away from each other. Knowledge I just don't know. Your orders. Yes, my lord. Where the hell is Throt? Tools of judgment ready. Tell me eat things head. I think he might be over here. I trust no it shall be done. There he is. Uh Lars has said a five euro super chat. Uh hey Legend, what do you think about Australia's general stance on video game censorship? Would you say you're lucky to have the blood DLC there? Uh I find that I don't really get impacted by it very much. It, look, it's it's really hard to know. Um 
about how bad you've got it when you live in a bubble. Like, I, I've lived in Australia my entire life. And I don't know what it's like in other countries. So I don't know what I'm missing out on. You know? It's kind of like, imagine, imagine somebody that is not allowed to eat cake. And has never been allowed to eat cake. And then asking them, Hey, do you, do you miss cake? And they're like, I don't know what cake tastes like. So, I don't know what I'm missing out on. <laughs> I mean, um, I find that there are ways to bypass the censorship shit. Like, I played Grand Theft Auto growing up. Um, you know, if, if the kind, like, I think, I think one of the games that I was never allowed to play, right, because of my country was Hatred, right? If you guys remember that game where you play an absolute psychopath, I was, like, it was just not available in Australia. It was banned. It's not really the kind of game that I want to play anyway. So, you know, sometimes... Like, I'm not for censorship. I think people should be allowed to make their own decisions when it comes down to entertainment. But at the same time, I don't feel like it really impacts me that much because I don't, I don't think I ever really would have gotten into hatred anyway. So, you just, you miss out on shit games, basically. Um, you know, edgy games, which I'm, I'm just not interested in anyway. Merlowen did a five dollar super chat, destroy them all and let Sigma sort them out. Oh, okay, that's not helpful, but thanks for super chat. Protector of the weak. Can't you play Mortal Kombat though? Uh, Mortal Kombat, yeah, it's available. Um, I'm not interested in Mortal Kombat, though. Huntsman General. Hatred was a bad game, though. Well, pfft, I wasn't allowed to play it, but I'm just saying that was, that's just an example. Volkmar. Um. All right, Throt can't get to Fort Stragholf. You need to get rid of some of these heroes here. Get rid of this one. Because he can critical success. We don't want that. Kislevite Kossar. He got that. Um, let's... I don't know if Volkmar's got one of those. Yeah, he does. Okay. Um, is this the turn? Is this the turn? I think we can justify waiting one more turn. Make sure to put that student on someone. Disciplined. Uh, I don't attach Empire Captains to my armies, so... Eh, whatever. I'll just keep him. Who knows? I might be able to do something with him later. It's not that much of an expense. And why don't we put that disciplined... Uh, sorry, that student on you. Get off your horse. Did Manhunt get banned in Australia? Don't know. It's not a game that I wanted to play, so... Don't know. Don't need that, don't need that. Uh, go with Growth. It would be good if we can get Kislev to Tier 5. The Boca Palace is a good building. I trust no man. Cunning. Nah, I don't need that here. Cool, and you got anything good? Kiss the White Cossar, cool. That means we got two. Hey, Green Skinner. All oh, right, Azag. Right. I serve Sigma. Seek out the heretics. Uh... They will be judged. Is that where heretics lurk? Okay, I'm just wondering if I should bring this guy over to Volksgrad. We're back in the green, so that's good. Huntsman General. All right, how dangerous is a lot of, lot of garbage uh, Skaven slaves? It's got some good units. Poison Wind Mortars, obviously. I don't Huntsman think General. we need a massive army to deal with it. Show me the accused. Pick up the pace. Huntsman General. This should be... Yeah, yeah, I figured. And they're in Force March, so they're, they're going as... 
Regeneration trait of Isabel's lost, unfortunately. See, member said an interview. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, I think that's a bad call on their part. I, I think that they should have tried to at least give it to Vlad instead. Um, I think that was a bad call on CA's part. I don't think it's a big deal, but I don't think that was a good decision. The thing is, lots of little bad decisions can ruin a game. And CA are making a lot of little bad decisions. You know, I'm really not agreeing with a lot of their attitude. You know, I think, I think they're making some pretty shitty decisions. Who calls? I command here. But I don't know, maybe maybe I'm wrong. It's always, it's always possible that I'm wrong, and what I like is not what the vast majority of people like. And maybe they wanted to get rid of it. And I could be wrong, but I, all I know is what I like, and what they're doing is not what I like, you know? So, that's all. I can only come at it from my perspective, you know? They will be judged. You know, I don't personally care what the Reddit wants. Because that's, uh, I don't share the opinions of the Reddit. Alright, let's, uh, let's take Fort Ostros. Should be another order resolve. This army's super strong. Yep, all good. All good. Cool. Just have to play it. I think Steam Tanks with Gelt is crap. No, it's good. If you know what you're doing, it's really good. It's definitely one of the stronger armies you can build in the game. Um... Get rid of that. That's don't need that. Bring me to my men. Yeah, since Hockland is gonna Yeah, I just I just don't know. Receive. Just don't know. Um are all of our trade goods being sold off now? Because we're losing a few trade agreements. Okay, we're not selling off all the pottery. Maybe try to get another trade agreement with somebody. There's Arguilon, maybe. No. Adam Kirali did two dollars I remember Rimworm got banned for you guys. Did it? I don't believe it's banned. Would you be a more okay with the trait removal if they added more source of regen through items? Uh. Look, it, look, the loss of the regen trait, it's not like I'm going to delete Warhammer 3 from my computer and never play it again. It, it's, it's not that big of a deal. The, the problem is it's like death by a thousand cuts, right? If they keep chipping away at things, they like take away things that I like, little things, you know? You can only tolerate so many of these little things being chipped away before the game ends up being just inferior to what came before. That's the problem. So... You know, if they just move things around, that's fine. But if they keep removing things rather than adding things, then, you know, th they chip away the enjoyment. This is the big thing that Creative Assembly needs to tackle, right? They need to make sure that Immortal Empires is more fun than Mortal Empires. They have a very high bar to reach. They can't slide underneath it, okay? If Immortal Empires is shit on launch, they can't say, well... Mortal Empire has had four years of development. No, that's not going to cut it. You know? It's not going to cut it. And I think that Creative Assembly has a bad attitude with this stuff. You know? I think it just got a bad attitude. Yeah, you know, talking to them behind the scenes, it's like they've learnt nothing. You know? They really... I don't believe they are listening. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Or, more like this. I think they're only listening to certain areas. You know, specific areas of the community and ignoring other areas. And I think that they're, they've got tunnel vision. They're like hyper-focusing on the Reddit. I think that's what they're doing. And that's fine if they want to do that. But, you know, the Reddit is not everyone. You know, there's a lot of people that don't use the Reddit. But I think they are getting a lot of their feedback from there. Because here's the problem, right? The Reddit is an echo chamber, right? If you have a differing opinion from the Reddit, you get shouted down. So what ends up happening is that 
Reddit is usually unified in one opinion. And so Creative Assembly goes there for feedback, sees that one opinion is expressed strongly, because everybody that has a differing opinion on that Reddit has already been shouted out. They're already gone. And Creative Assembly just looks at that and goes, cool, that's what everybody wants. But everybody that wants to play the game but just isn't at the Reddit was like, you're not listening to me, but it's because they've been shouted out of the Reddit. That's that's what I think, but I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I don't have a I don't have clairvoyance on this side of, side of things. It just it seems that way. You know. All right. Well, we need three more. Hang on. One, so, two, yes, three. Yeah, there's five. three more events that need to happen. Uh, let me just check for armies. What are we... Okay, Gotrick is just standing still. You can have a few more troops. You got money. Only a little bit of money, but that's okay. Okay, we need to fight this battle over here. We should get uh, Volkmar's trait this turn. There is power heals us. Do you have the scribe? Yeah. Yeah, you've got all the campaign movement range stuff. It's just that like, going through the mountains here always takes up so much movement. Maze is completely wrong, but sometimes it feels like they view the game a lot like tabletop in regards to balance. They focus too much on making sure there's nothing OP. Yeah, look, I, I look, I understand. This is this is the problem with split opinions that I was talking about before. You've you've got that right, where there are people that want the game to be more like the tabletop. Now, here's the thing: you've got a lot of people that don't play the tabletop. Like, how many of you guys in the chat here played um, Warhammer Fantasy tabletop? Right. I, I never played it, so I have no attachment to tabletop rules. I have attachment to fun, right? That's what I just want out of these games. So I just want fun factor. If something is more aligned to the tabletop, but is less fun for me personally, then I'm not for it. So when somebody says, if, 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 if they make something, and I don't like it, and they say, oh, but it's it's closer to the tabletop. I don't care. Like, I just don't care. And that's that's cool if some other people do care, but I'm not going to pretend like I care just because other people care, you know? I'm not that altruistic. <laughs> altruistic. I don't care. The big test of things is when Immortal Empires launches in August, maybe September, is Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires going to maintain the player base that Warhammer 2 had? That's the big question. Are people going to play it and go, uh, Warhammer 2 is better? Or are they going to play it and go, Warhammer 3 is better? Because what I want to be able to say is that Warhammer 3 is better. That's what I want to say, right? Um, oh, it doesn't matter if these guys get wiped there, because they're just going to keep replacing them, just recruit new ones. That's what I want. You know, I want nothing more than to be able to say that Warhammer 3 is the best Total War game ever, but I'm not just going to say it for the sake of saying it. You know, they've got to earn it, and they haven't done that yet, as far as I'm concerned. But we'll see. We'll see. You know? I've been wrong before. But I don't know. I think, um... It's important to keep in mind as well that, um... I warned them very strongly about Realms of Chaos. I, I was told them people are not going to like this. And they said to me that in their, like, focus groups or whatever, that everything was fine with Realm of Chaos. But I ended up being right. I wish I was wrong. I really wish I was wrong about Realm of Chaos. But I warned them. And I told them specifically that the Realm of Cinch was shit. So I was right to warn them about, immortal, uh, about Realm of Chaos. That doesn't automatically mean I'm going to be right about Immortal Empires. But we'll see. Okay. 
Are you going to play the first Total War? Shogun 1? No. Fuck no. Done with that. That game's unplayable now. We did get a Pyrrhic victory, right? There we go. There we go. Bloody. Cool. We just need to do that several more times. Problem is, by getting Pyrrhic victories, you're not really gaining much experience. That's alright. Yeah, but anyone can see the Realm of Chaos of shit. Yeah, that was obvious. That was obvious. That Realm of Chaos was going to fail. Your word is my command. Was Realm of Sinch really that bad? Okay. Realm of Sinch um, is, without exception, the worst campaign mechanic that Creative Assembly has ever developed in any game, period. The worst. Whoever developed it should have been fired. <laughs> Sorry. But... It's so bad. It's almost inexcusable to make a mechanic that bad. It'd be fine if Wormer 3 is equal to Wormer 2. Yeah, yeah, but they gotta get there. I haven't done that yet. Show me the accused. Tools of Might be good to have a whole bunch of... Um, these guys over here soon. And trust me, guys, I'm not trying to be a hater. I Nobody wants Wormer 3 to, to succeed more than me. Wormer 3's success equals success for my channel, you know? Goes hand in hand. Nobody wants it to su succeed more than me. But we can't just bury our head in the sand and pretend a game is great when it's not. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, Robbie Jones did a $5 super chat. Here's five bucks. All right, thanks, dude. Thomas Mann did a five pound super chat. Say beautiful. All right, you too. All right, thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. All right, have we done all of our military movements for the turn? Next turn, we declare war on Marienburg. Make sure that uh, this army here is blocked. I don't care if the other one. Actually, no. I want that army to stay there so I can smash it instead of hunting it down. So you stay right there. There's the other one, but Gotrick should be able to handle that. All right. Any other movements that need to be made? What's the mechanic about, and why is it that bad? I didn't buy Wormer 3 yet. I want to wait and see. Um, look, I don't really want to go in and explain what's so bad about Cinch, uh, the Realm of Cinch. Just to summarize it really quickly, the AI and player play by different rules, and the game throws bullshit at you. It's really, really not fun. It's a luck-based mechanic um, that basically gives the player an auto-lose if you don't... Um, basically guess the right portals quickly enough. Now, they lessened it a little bit with the latest patch, apparently, but the core way in which it works is it's just a fundamentally bad game design. Like, fundamentally bad game design. Um, they need to rework the Realm of Cinch from the ground up if they want it to actually be considered good. Band-Aid solutions, it's too little too late for stuff like that, I think. I don't really need this knowledgeable dude here. I don't want Shadow. If we're going to get knowledgeable, we'll get some good ones over here. Beast Wizard. Mm, I don't really want to be recruiting more stuff right now. Ready to serve. They did have that update it recently, right? Yeah, but they didn't change the rules of the Realm of Cinch. Not really. Not in any sort of meaningful way. They just made it slightly less painful. But it's, it's not fun. The thing is, with any mechanic that you make in a game, okay, there's like a slider where it's like, on one end of it, it's pain. And on the other end, it's fun, right? And what they've done is, the Realm of Cinch was like full pain. And what they've done is just moved it slightly towards being less pain. It's not 
in the fun category, right? Um, examples of like fun mechanics is like the realm of corn is kind of fun because it's just an absolute bloodbath right from the get go. There's nothing in there that just robs you of movement. You just go around and smash things up. It's fine. The realm of corn is fine. Apart from there just being no reward in there, it it's not painful to go in there. Like you know what you're getting out of it. There's no luck based bullshit to throw at you. Um, the realm of slanesh is okay because at least it rewards you but it is it is actually painful but at least it rewards you see any mechanic um there's two there's two different sliders there's painful and fun right the painful and fun slider maybe we should do a graph <laughs> okay hang on one sec guys i'm just gonna get up a graph i'll try to explain how any mechanic should be designed in a total war side side of things just give me one sec Okay, I'll try to explain it with visuals, because it'll be a lot easier. I'm not the best with this kind of stuff, but it, it'll make it a little bit easier to explain. Alright, so we take... Um, take two sliders, essentially. Yeah, that's fine. Oops. Okay. Actually, I'll just copy. No, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not going to be perfectly well drawn, right? You take two sliders... No, just black. Okay. Is this right? No, that's not right. Okay. So every single Total War mechanic can fall under this category here. Two sliders. Hang on, I'll just put... This is supposed to represent the middle. Okay. Okay, right? There's two sliders. So there's painful fun. Okay, painful fun slider, right? Then there's also this one over here, which is unrewarding. Rewarding. Okay. Oh, shit. Right, there's two... Oh, shit. Two sliders. Every single game mechanic can be categorized in, in this uh, side here. So, let's take a game... Let's, uh, let's, let's, like, um... Let's use an before we do the realm of cinch. Let's uh, let's use a different example. We'll so we'll use various different colors. We'll use green for what's something that's fun that's fun to use. Okay, let's use the uh, clan molder. Clan molder. Okay, I'll use this over here. Clan molder workshop. Ah, oh, shit, that's not going to work. I'll need to use 3D ones, otherwise it goes out. Clan Molder Workshop. Okay. So, how painful and fun is it? It is definitely on the... I'd say it's about here in terms of, like, fun factor, right? And is it unrewarding or rewarding? I'd say it's probably about here on the reward factor because, you know, it's just like benefits all around. It's really easy to use, just provides benefits. Flesh lab, whatever, it, whatever, right? And then we'll put over, let's go red. Let's go red. And let's just say this here is the realm of corn. Realm of corn. Okay. Don't want to spend too long on this. But let's just say that's the realm of corn, right? So, how painful would you say 
the realm of corners. I don't think it's it's on the on the thing of uh, Clan uh, Molder Workshop Flesh Lab. Uh, Jan Jenny did a uh, PLN ten super jet. Make it a two D X Y plot, please. It'll be easier. Nah, look, look, I don't want to spend too long on this, right? I don't want to spend too long on this. Okay, I just want to be real quick. All right, let's just say it's like. Um, that's probably more along the lines of, mm, here. And it's not particularly rewarding, so I'd, I'd probably put the rewarding like here, because there are the Swords of Corn, right? So that's the Realm of Corn in terms of a campaign mechanic, right? But then, what is the Realm of Cinch like, okay? Realm of Cinch. Okay, Realm of Cinch is fucking unrewarding as hell, and is super fucking painful, right? <laughs> okay, when something is in this category here, that's bad. You can be all the way down here and be rewarding, right? Uh, what's a good example of that? Something that's painful, but also rewarding. I'm not sure, Total War doesn't do that stuff very well. But yeah, when you've got a mechanic that falls back here in both categories, that's a <laughs> mechanic, right? So, um, you want to at least have one element in this area here, or this area here. Because you can have fun stuff that's unrewarding, and you can have painful stuff that's rewarding. But if you have unrewarding and painful, it's... <clears throat> okay, that's the, that's the problem with the Realm of Sins. I don't know if I explained that particularly well, but... You know... 1.3 Cinch Realm is fun though? No it isn't. How is it fun? They didn't change how it works at all. They just made it less painful. What about Slanesh? I'm not going to go into everything. That That's enough. You know, that's enough. We already lost like 100 people doing that explanation. Slanesh is pain and reward. There's no reward in Realm of Cinch. Alright, so, okay, before we end the turn here, let's see, okay, I need to make a backup save, just hang on one sec, because we got to test if this works. It's going to, oh, hang on, I don't want to overwrite the other one, copy that one. Uh, Nicholas Hoffler did a 5 euro super chat painful but rewarding leg day. Sure, whatever. Thanks super chat, appreciate it. Alright, now. So you want to cause a, rev a war between Wissenland and Hockland, preferably. Now, let's try Wissenland and Sterland, okay? Let's see if we can make this happen. I'm going to throw every bit of influence I can at this. Just leave me with like 1,000. Oh god. Okay, so they're heading towards minus 500. Now, if the confederation happens between us and Sterling next turn, we'll have to load the save file and pick a different target. So we'll see what happens at the end turn here. Oh yeah, I was going to send... Marius down here and actually occupy Akendorf. Trust no man. Bretonia campaign mechanics is hell annoying to keep track of vows, but they're rewarding. Yeah, that's a good example. Yeah, a good example of something that's painful but rewarding. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It, it is painful to keep track of that shit. Alright. Yeah, that's a good point. They will be judged onwards. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Oh wait, commandment available where?
Where did we just secure? Where do we just secure if we just got a commandment? I will marshal the men. Oh, damn it, I'll have to go through the whole fucking list. And Griffin Wood, we can switch that to this now. Oh, right, we got this province back. Right, 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 right. Okay. Nagenhof. Actually, that's totally fine there. Essen. Yeah, don't really need the walls there. Don't need growth. So yeah, we'll need to load the save file if um, if Sterling gets confederated, which I think it will. So we'll just we'll just see. Oh, look at that! He just disbanded half of his army. I am Karl Franz. No, I think that'd be a mistake. Still undefeated? Yep, still undefeated. Since CA is taking community feedback into account for Izzy's trade, it might be a good idea to link the Discord post in the stream for viewers to up, down on the change. I just leave that up to them. I'm not promoting CA stuff. If people want to go to the Discord, that's up to them. I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not getting involved. Missed the commandment at Essen. Oh okay, well I'll get it next turn. Kind of looks like the Greenskins may have taken out... No, it's, the Eshin is still there. Did I forget to move... I think I forgot to move Volkmar last turn. <laughs> Friends of the Empire, come. Well, if I have to load the save file, we'll do that then. Yeah, so you gotta accept that. Alright, let's have a look at this over here. Do not waste my time with petty talk. Make your offer and be done. <sighs> Honestly guys, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let me let me just see something. If I do this. Yeah, no diplomatic contact. I don't know, guys. I, I don't think that's going to work. I think Sterling will ask for a confederation next turn, in which case that was just a waste of prestige. I don't know how we're going to make this work. Wait, I'm, I think I did... The instrument of Sigmar's I can't remember what I did. So we've got 11. Hmm. Well, we'll just see how that plays out, I guess. What does the Emperor bid? 
Does Crossman take the penalty? I don't know how many times i got to explain this, guys. <laughs> you know, it gets a bit tiresome. We have to end it with positive Imperial Authority. If you attack them, we lose a lot of Imperial Authority. I don't know how many times i got to explain it. Okay, I can't pull any more Imperial Authority out of my ass. Waste my potential. But yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. We'll yes, just see how it plays out. Alright, so... It's time to declare war on Marienburg, but we need to bypass you have his alliance, so do it that way. The punishment shall Good, that way we don't lose any reliability. Your economy, what happened? We just got a confederation. I got, I got uh, nine armies. <laughs> so that's what happened. I refuse. This one's over here recruiting. The land provides. Yeah, I just got freaking shitloads of armies. Bad plan scheme. All right, we need to block Ready. this army here. What have you to say? Cool. There's no way you can get to Fort Straghoff. Champion of the faith. They will be judged. Pick up the pace. By Sigma. Onwards. Here to serve. Uh, rigging pots to the final submission is death blow worth 150 jars for Tim Kings. Also, are you a celebrity in your hometown? No and no. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. By the comet. Yeah, death blow is not worth 150 jars. The Emperor bid. I kind of feel like this army here might be able to beat him on his own. Oh, there's Gorich. Well, if we want to reduce his order resolve power, all we're going to do is take that down. And Emperor. Yes, General. If that's what the Emperor commands. You can revive Middle and do the same thing as yesterday for Imperial Authority. No, it's too late. It's too late. That would take that would take way too long to get that set up. Um, we might actually be able to manage. Okay, okay. Let's let's have a look. We've got eleven Imperial Authority. We got eleven. So, if we have a look at things, what do we have left to do? Um, Confederation with Sterland, minus three. That'll bring us to eight. That I could declare war on Wissenland outright, and just not conquer Hockland. Because if, if they remain there... So, if the current state of things will end up at zero Imperial Authority. It won't be positive, but it won't be negative either. So I'll leave it to the very last moment before attacking Wissenland. But at this rate here, we should actually be okay. Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go kill some Marienburgers. Okay, we want this army here. Block it. That army there is going to die. So block this one. Got trick you go over there. Cool, easy win. The next stop for him is Arno. If you keep Hockland alive in Norska, you'll have enough authority left. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But we'll just we'll see how we go. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and Sterland won't get confederated next turn because <laughs> I can't reject it. There's not enough time to reject it now. Yeah, well, that's bullshit. As if that's going to be a valiant defeat. Alright, let's do this.
Really shouldn't have any problems here, but um Oh what they put all their stuff over there. That's fine. <laughs> They're like, you can't get me with your steam tank. Oh no no stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh hang on. Oh that's a hell of a bloody miscast. Oh god. <laughs> Oh god, that was good. Uh, you need to go back and get a heal. So, 663 kills is pretty good. We got plenty of wins of magic in this army. Alright, cool. Let's start bringing in the steam tanks. Our weapons are yours. Sigma guides us. Bow before me. They'll never move again. Are there heroes that have special mounts like the Beast Magic Caster? No mm. Yes, Fire Wizards for um, High Elves will give you a dragon. Whereas the other ones don't get that. I can't really think of other examples. Uh, Gormandius Gormand at a 5 super chat. What is your best Empire campaign strategy versus Tomb Kings? And for future, how would you play Cathay campaign versus Tomb Kings and IE? Empire strategy versus Tomb Kings um, shouldn't really be a big deal because Tomb Kings are usually pretty much dead by the time you encounter them. So just bring whatever you want. Whatever you're comfortable with. Tomb Kings are not a threat. Um, how would you play Cathay Campaign versus Tomb Kings in IE? I don't know. I haven't played it, so I just... I wouldn't change my armies based on that. Tomb Kings are just not a threat. But thanks to the chat. Appreciate it. Yep, looks like it's going to be that valiant defeat. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, bounce of power should be in our favor. Army losses, there we go.
Any idea why the sack seems to do add in or bad in auto resolve? Uh, probably because it doesn't have any experience. See, we went up against a veteran army, and this is all pretty much fresh recruits. They, they just don't have any experience yet. Mm. I'd rather not do smash not it up. Waste my potential. All right, so in terms of elect account positions, oh man, I'm letting things slip. Um, we've got all of them except for Wissenland. So this one here, elect account of Ostermark, we should give that to Volkmar, who is currently the elect account of Sterland. Doesn't need that. That gives him more physical resistance. Uh, the Electric Count of Sterland is... We haven't got him yet, but just give anyone to that position. This one over here... Doesn't matter, anyone can take Orders it. Heated. This one here... Electric Count of Nordland... Is not that important. Uh, electric Count of... This... Income from ports, plus 20%. It's good, just anyone will do. That was a decent amount of money change. I like up this a lot of red. Yeah, it's just because we we just confederated a whole bunch of armies, so I'll tidy things up a bit. We'll, we'll get it back into the green at the end of this turn. Yeah. What's the quarry? Okay, I feel like we really need to advance on. Tools of judgment ready. On Clan Mulder a bit faster. Just get rid of them. So, assassinate Gorich. Heretic. You don't get any bonuses for beating him in battle. And... Ah, stupid experiment! <laughs> Waste of time, time! Now we want to kill those other ones. Because, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh... Give him that level up. What do you need? Huntsman General! Huntsman General! Alright, I don't really care about this army. You kind of want to disband it as soon as possible, so losing those two units is not a big deal. This is what we trained for! Cool. Now, I know there'll be a few people being like, Why don't you let Carl Franz do it? He'll get the 10% health! It's not that important. You know, it's likely that we'll fight Throt again. You know. We're, he's not, we're not bothering about trait farming. We've got Isabella's trait, good enough. Okay, now this one over here, we'd probably be able to auto-resolve that one as well. Yeah, I don't see any reason why not. As long as no units get wiped out, I don't see any reason why we have to fight it manually. Yep. Yep, it's fine. <laughs> How'd you get Gotrick without the timer? Uh, you need to check out yesterday's episode. That's where it happened. Yeah, when he leaves, if you load the save file, um, immediately after he leaves, he comes back without the timer. Yeah, just a bit of a bug. Champion of the faith. All right, this one has been blocked. It's not going to run down at us because this army here is not amazing. Um, Huntsman General, show me the accused. How likely will they declare war on us? How about this? Okay, so we've got um, Pack Ice what Bay over here, it? which is of absolutely no value to me whatsoever. So, considering the money problem that we have at the moment. I think I'd rather just disband this dude. And and him. You got anything good? Hmm. Okay, get rid of that. And just abandon this. Okay. So, looking at the Black Pit, they go up to tier 4. Get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. That goes in minor settlements. Get rid of that, need to build walls there. Dieter's Hafen, get rid of that, that, that. 
Need to build walls there. What does the Emperor bid, champion of the faith? Oh hell no! <laughs> True servant of Sigma. All right, we gotta watch out for this guy coming along the coastline this way. Um, he won't be able to attack Dedeshafen or Norden just yet. Castle von Rukin does not need walls; it's safe now. It's likely that's just full of garbage. Yeah, it's probably just full of absolute trash. Sigma grant me his strength. Ever vigilant. Kind of feel like we should declare war on on them. Welcome. Ooh, he doesn't hate this that much. I guess my big concern here is if I come over here and land, I'm not sure if I'll be able to launch the attack right away. Huntsman General. Okay, I need to get one of these witch hunters out over here to block this army. Look? So yeah, we'll leave them over here. here to serve. And if he wants to go and like ruin dwell Norska, is he at war with them? My yeah, he is. If he wants to go and ruin dwell against Norska, I'd say let him. What orders? Ready to serve. But yeah, what we should do is just stay here out in the water. And get ready to attack that next turn. It's okay if we're in the red a little bit. You need to stay here and just wait and see what I, what he does. You go out over here. Moving up. Probably use that as a sack city rather than occupy it. If you peace out Hockland, there's no need to worry about it. Yeah, but I'm using this as a sack city for the time being. But you, you, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. We, we could do that. You're right. We could. Volkmar the Grim. Yes, my lord. Seek out the heretics. All right. Looks like um, the dwarfs are. Well, they built that back up pretty quick, because that got smashed. I trust no man. Moving off. They will be judged. Let's have you dead. All right. So, oh, he's strength ranking three. Barak Var. Yeah. What does the emperor bid? Tools of judgment ready. Uh, it would be good to uh, secure the province, for sure. Show me the accused. I will marshal the men. No, just. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Will. I don't think we're gonna get attacked here for the intern. Yeah, that's okay. So. Can you get more imperial authority the normal way? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. We we'll just have to get lucky. To the provinces. See if I can get Matorka next turn. That'd be good. I don't need this guy anymore. No the Empire. Hmm. Karaza Karak is getting fucked up. Uh, didn't we see an army of Karak Kedrin come through here recently? Where the hell did it go? I am ready to parley. I hope your words are wise. Okay, that's all fine. 
Could you get above 100 heroes if you confederate another faction with heroes when you already have 100 heroes of that type? Theoretically, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, that seems like it is possible. But I've never done it before, so I'm not 100% sure. We should probably work towards Lightning Strike and also reducing upkeep costs because this army is getting pretty expensive. Well, we could get Mighty Forge to increase ward save. We're not up against anything dangerous here. They will be judged. Absolutely not. Yeah, look at that guy's movement. He can't go anywhere. No. So Gotrick will head over to Arnell. Probably have to fight that one manually, but it should be fine. We've almost got the entirety of the Empire. The only settlements we don't have is Arnell, Wissenland, and Stirland, and the Moot. We're almost done. We've only got 14 turns left, though. And we've got the entirety of Kislev now. Alright. So Volkmar has a move. We need to do his thing. This has to be fought manually if we want to keep getting the uh, uh, the trait. It's easy. Uh, what is geographically the largest empire in Warhammer history? Is it Grand Cathay? Uh, yeah, I think it is Grand Cathay, yeah. Ah, oh, no, what are we doing? You move back, just let them go take casualties. So yeah, in case you're wondering about what's going on with this, why are we sending these guys here to die? If we lose 50% of our troops, just in terms of numbers, then we'll get a Pyrrhic victory. You get enough Pyrrhic victories, you get the bloody trait, gives Volkmar the Grim loads of experience. Um, not experience, um, hit points. So yeah, we just need to take loads of casualties. It's all good. Let them charge into us. It's all good. Isn't it Nehekara? Hmm. Don't know. <laughs> what is he doing? It's just them. It's a spearman. Who cares? Alright, that should be 50% quite easily. Okay. Go in and finish the job. Yeah, I think we do actually have enough influence to um, to go ahead and just outright declare war on Wissenland. So what we'll do is, if if an event doesn't show up, we'll go and send Balthazar Gelt after he's dealt with um, um, Marienburg, which will take him like two or three more turns. We'll send him down to to Wissenland and. We gotta, we gotta give him at least three turns to conquer the whole province. So if we do that on turn ninety-five, yeah, we'll give Wissenland and turn until turn ninety-five to make a play. So I probably won't get the upgraded trait this turn. Because I think it takes a couple of Pyrrhic victories to get it. Yeah, we didn't get it this turn. That's okay. Let me just come back over here and just... No. 
instrument of Sigmar's will. Knowledge is power. Cool. Just recruit more. More, uh, more bodies for the... Whatever. Alright. Uh, I really do need to reduce upkeep costs for the time being. Right now. So if you're wondering why I'm not getting immortality on some of them, it's because they don't have a good trait. If they're disciplined, we'll give them imm immortality, otherwise don't bother. It's not that important. If one of them dies, Volkmar can recruit them at like rank 19, so it just doesn't really matter. Yeah, this guy's not immortal. Alright, well it's not critically important that we get it down to, um, in, into the green this turn. It would be good. Oh yeah, Marienburg was only tier 3. Shit. Oh well. So yeah, we got 14 turns remaining. Now I'll just leave that. I should have built growth here. I know we need money, but we should have built growth. What does the Emperor bid? Tools of judgment ready. To the provinces. It is time. Yep, that'll make him a bit stronger. Ugh, I hate this army so much. <laughs> Death magic. Alright, uh... Yeah, we'll definitely need to scout this area around here before we decide to go to Matorka. But it would be good if we can grab that, that way we can secure the entire province. Tools of judgment ready. Onwards. Cool, let's just check in the area, make sure it's safe. Men of the Empire, what brings you here? Impossible. Preposterous. Okay. How many armies will we be able to spam with greenskins and Warhammer IE? <laughs> More than in Warhammer 2, I guess. Well, it depends. What if their economy gets nerfed? You know? We can't... I can't answer these things without playing the game, man. Volkmar the Grim. Champion of the Faith. Uh, Birtikol Bartolome did a 1 euro super chat. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, this Arch Lector, what are we doing with him? We're also a few turns away from the Chaos Invasion. So we need to just quickly finish things up with um, these guys out here. Show me the accused. Why not wait a couple of turns with the bad army to recruit some more useful units? You're going to have to replace it eventually. Um, well, we've got... The area is... Um, there's nothing here, so it's an opportunity to attack. So, sometimes you just got to make do with what you got. And we're running out of time anyway. Just because it's a bad army doesn't mean we can't make use of it. You know, if we, if we get caught by Arachnorok spiders, though, we're screwed. So i got to just keep being vigilant and blocking them. Um, okay, so... Yep, that's fine. Yeah, I'll... Uh, he does increase the recruit rank by 5, but... I can't really bring him over here. It's fine. This will be attached into Volkmar's army. So we go Grungzint first, then Fort Bergbris, and then that's essentially Marienburg gone. And then we double team it over here. I don't think we need to worry about um, Corone. They're very unlikely to declare war on us. And it looks like they're... 
neighbors in the east to deign to visit. Sure what they're doing. Looks like they're making an invasion of Norska. Somebody's attacking Wretch. them. Could be anyone. My black dragon alone could raise Could be Bastone there for all I know. The... Cool. Fine. Alright, what can I do to save a little bit of money? Could just suck up the minus 5,000 this turn. So I think with these settlements out here, we'll um, just blow them up. Since Warriors of Chaos are going to come down here anyway. Just, yeah, just go blow them up. Get rid of Bersling no. Camp and then these guys are essentially done. So blow up, blow up, occupy, occupy. And we should be able to occupy all of Norska without too much problem. Because we got so much anti-corruption. Okay, don't spend too much, or else we are going to take attrition next turn. Oh, no. I'll have to wait until another turn, there. Uh, welcome to Goat Town. Did a one Euro super chat. Uh, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Have you ever had a dream about Total War Warhammer? Uh, no, not really. I don't think so. So yeah, we're abandoning this because that's useless to us. Wreckers Point will get walls. Okay, cool, let's move on. Yeah, I forgot to do that last time. Okay, we don't need growth here. Go with uh, taxes. Is there another province that we should put taxes on? Yeah, this one. Where next? Okay. What's the quarry? Yeah, red territory. Yes. Then. I trust no man. Might be a good idea to get rid of some of these heroes. I accuse. I am Prince so Carl Franz will make his way over here. Yeah. No. Yes. No, don't build any. Oh, hang on. Where'd I get the money from? Did I fight another battle? Well, I got the money to build that then. Alright, cool, do it. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't. It's alright. Uh, do you think the next WT should be Lord of the Rings? You mean TW? Um, no, I don't think it necessarily should be Lord of the Rings. That's... I don't know, man. I don't know what the next Total War game should be. Although it does seem like it's... Oh, God, I missed one again. It does seem like it's easier for companies to get the Lord of the Rings license now. So, I guess it's possible. But I don't personally care about Lord of the Rings that much. Anymore. Okay, that should do it. Alright, so we should have about 3,000 gold next turn. How do you get the Witch Hunters to have a 100% agent success chance? You do that through um, recruiting a lot of Arch Lectors. Good. The 
Flying Gobbo did a 5,000 won super chat. I like how Hockey Land is being driven out of the Empire so slowly turning into a Norsecan tribe. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Thanks, super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Watch your divide and conquer Rohan campaign yesterday. You seem so done with all this. Oh, yeah, I. I did not really enjoy that campaign. I I tried to rush through it as quickly as I could. I, I just did not care much for it at all. Um, yeah. Like, I get that a lot of people love um, Lord of the Rings Total War, I, and I get why. As in Third Age Total War, but there's a lot, in my opinion, about Third Age Total War that just is kind of slow. And I don't really like slow-paced Total War games. I don't think it's difficult in the slightest. It's just slow. Oh, there goes the Ghost of Pahuax. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult because, like... I get, like, the vast majority of people love Third Age Total War. But I just don't. I just don't. I'm not saying Third Age is bad. I just would prefer not to play it. You know, I can't think of any particular campaigns of Third Age where I was actually fond of it at all. Um, it's just how it is. But I know that I'm in the minority in that case, and I'm fine with it. I don't know. Some people can't reconcile that. It's like, how could you? How dare you not like something that's popular? Unfortunately, I just don't. You know, it's just not for me. I understand why people like it though, but the reasons why some people like it is exactly why I don't like it. Baldo did a five dollar super chat. I don't know how you do this without coffee, but this campaign is going yeah, proper this. as well, usual. I'm trying to form solid first twenty turns on Grim. Any advice? Yeah, you should try to take out um, Azag as quickly as possible. It's usually the first thing I do. Don't worry about the initial wall that you go up against. Don't even worry about Karak Kedrin. Go straight for Karak Ongor. Mm -mm. Good. Bretonia's coming out over here. Nice. <sighs> well, at least... At least Sterling didn't get confederated. <laughs> There's only two more events that need to happen. Um... This is pretty useless. So if we now have a look between right. Sterland and Wissenland, let's have a look. Yeah, look, it's not going down because they haven't had diplomatic contact. Yeah, they absolutely hate each other, but just don't know if a war declaration is going to occur before confederation just don't know they will be judged step to it so i just I need this guy here to just stay put i trust no man what have you to say i serve sigma huntsman general maybe we should occupy it and send volkmar over here to train maybe I'll think about that. Um, Seek out the heretics. Keep an eye on Norskans out this way. Tools of judgment ready. They recruit a new army there. Summon the Elector Counts. Sigmarite Arch Lector. <coughs> Excuse me. They will be judged. Pick up the pace. The nation calls. How do you have 3,000 now? Probably because I demolished a bunch of buildings. I am a supreme patriarch. Because we just had a confederation, so I demolished a lot of the the buildings that was crap. Fight! Oh wow, he fucking makes his little way there. Oh no, I wasn't expecting that. Because we've got so many global bonuses. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to fight this manually. I mean, this is a shit army. I'll get to that in a minute. I 
unworkable. All right, there is no siege attacker in this army, so even if it does get, make its way down to Marienburg, hang on, before you do that, make sure we've put. Yep, we have. Report. No. That should give it absolutely no chance of getting to Marienburg. Alright, I'll auto resolve this as long as nobody gets killed. Yep, that's fine. Oh, fucking close one, but it's fine. It's fine. Yes. Uh, Jock Rates did a two euro super chat. Planet War mod should be the next Total War game. Uh, I'm fine with that. Thanks for super chat, appreciate it. Let us begin. You summon me. As long as none of them get killed, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, so we need to head towards uh, Lightning Strike and also reducing upkeep costs. That's really important with this bloody expensive army. There you go. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Not possible. And then next turn... It's, it says there's a little bit of blue there. Uh, let me just check to see. Yeah, you got. You've got all the campaign movement range followers. You should be able to make it to Fort Burgers. If not, no big deal. Hunter Olsen did a five dollar super chat. Love the Car France campaign, man. Keep up Sigma's work. No, is it? I'm loving it as well, for sure. Here to serve. Seek out the heretics. You are judged. Huntsman General. Not a chance. I think I may need to set up a trap for this guy, which means recruiting another <laughs> recruiting another lord. Because yeah, there's a more more than a full stack there, and I just can't rely that heavily on this army. Who calls? Direct me. Yeah, Bring just, me you just scout ahead. March. Should be safe. Bring me to my men. Attack. I command here. I trust no man. Alright, Skaven have absolutely no forces left now, according to this at least. Alright, I need somebody to go and check up on Crackerdrack. Pick up the pace. By the comet. And while it would be good for Carl Franz to get Throt's trait, it might be good if he does that at Crackerdrack. I think we should just be done with Clan Mulder, even if it means he doesn't get it. It's not the primary objective. Huntsman General. And we need to just clear out a lot of this garbage. So Take occupy this. This is what we've trained for. for the and then Empire. we need to just go in through Norska with these trash armies and uh, clean it up be while they're weak. Like, like they're really weak end. right now. And we need to take advantage of that. So yeah, if we have a look here, still zero defeats, but yeah, money's a problem. So what I'm thinking here is we'll occupy the Brass Keep, and then we'll send Volkmar around here to, to use that as a sack city. And that way he'll be able to guarantee Hockland's survival. Yeah. So, we'll occupy it this time. This guy won't be able to reach what it. Do you require? Not likely. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Bathe in soul fire. Volkmar. Oh, I just love 100% agent success chance. Oh, I should have fought it manually. Hey, <laughs> whoops. It's alright. The righteous hammer of Sigmar. 
Okay, that's all of Hockland secured. Okay, this guy here just got his immortality. And you may have a student, because I know we just got one. Cool. So our current research rate is 320%. Man, just rocketed up recently. Play until you lose a battle campaign win. Mm, I'm happy to continue this campaign next week. Um, it, with that theme, if that's got what you guys want. Like, obviously, the objective today of, well, this week has been to confederate, well, to control the entirety of the empire it, with imp positive imperial authority by turn 100, which is very difficult to do normally, but, you know, we didn't exploit. Um, not exploit, it's cheese. Intended mechanic with an un unintended consequence. So in terms of... Hmm. We got 13 turns remaining. All right, I gotta fight this battle manually. There's no two ways about it. No point dilly dallying. Just got, it's just gotta get done. How do you increase research rate as dark elves? Um. There's various things. You build sorceress buildings. Um, use sorceress actions. Uh, getting black arcs. They've got a skill that increases research rate. But yeah, you're not gonna be able to get research rate up to like a thousand percent. By turn 100 like the High Elves can. Right. Shouldn't be anything to be concerned about. Just has to be fought manually. There's no two ways about it. Too bad we didn't get Gotrick Isabella's trait. Uh, not that he really needs it. Will you be able to confederate the remaining empire before turn 100? The only real question on that front is Wissenland. It does look like we're going to be able to at this stage, but it's not guaranteed yet. Yeah, we're not going to be able to confederate Wissenland. We have to declare war on them. It's just a matter of, it would be so much better if they declared war on us. Because it's the difference between um, two Imperial Authority, two or three, and um, six Imperial Authority. Also, we can't declare war on him until we've dealt, dealt with everyone else, specifically with Sterland, because when you declare war on an, an elect account, all the other elect accounts lose fealty, so we can't let Sterland drop below 10. We have to wait until that confederation happens first, which is going to happen in the next couple of turns. Does Gotrick live up to his lore in this game? No, not really. Actually quite useful in this situation here where um, the mortar's um, ammo is not very accurate. He still cannot die permanently. There's no legendary lord that can die permanently. Well, except for ones that can't be revived. Which is funny, because Vlad actually uh, is one of the least immortal characters in the game. Alright, cool. Let's bring them up.
Should have plenty of ammo to just sort all this out. Okay, we should just be able to send them up on the wall now to clear up the uh, the rest of the junk up here because it's just um, they're covered by the crenellations. I just can't get them with the archers. Should be very close to the armor losses. There's mortars over here, but that can't really hurt Gotrick and Felix. And why didn't you come up on the wall? Oh, never mind. <laughs> didn't need it. Basic pitch archers at turn 100. Yeah, well, he's just taking out low hanging fruit. We don't need him to have a doom stack. If a faction is revived, will its leader be at rank 1 or what it was when it, they were defeated? Yeah, their leader will be at the rank that they were when they were defeated. So if they were at rank 40, they come back at rank 40. They don't get reset down to 1. I am preserved for a greater doom. It's no ever beat, but it will do. All right, cool. How expensive is his army? Great okay. Since that was the only thing I needed him to do. Welcome. Huh? Gotrek, hmm. I could just band his units to save a bit of money. Save three thousand eight hundred. They will be judged. Now, this over here, what I was going to do is just go blow this up. Because they're able to recruit mammoths from here. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. So, if I go and blow this up. And then just disband all this shit. Because, yeah, we can save a lot of money. Armor of Destiny, I'll take that off him. Hang on. Yeah, I'll outright declare war on him. That way, Krasakrak gets dragged in. And yeah, I'm just going to blow it up. And actually... Oh, shit. I should have taken him out first. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's get rid of him. Cool. Yeah, I got another hero here. I'll send him out that way to to just go and scout ahead and keep the corruption down. Yeah. Good, and we're back in the green now. Um, I'll bring Gotrek over to Dietershafen to just keep an eye on the stuff here, because I'm not really looking at advancing in Norska too heavily. I am Prince and Emperor. This guy's got a fair bit of hero support, so we can have a look around here. Now hey, we're going for public order. Let me just have a quick look. Hell Pit is the worst of it. Because I did abandon a settlement. So corruption is going down pretty quick. We could put a hero here, obviously. To get down faster. At this rate, three turns until it... Don't tax it. There's no money... Oh, well, it's coming, but... The bias is an additional turn. If we get... The Staff of Command, that provides global bonuses to public Both order, but we need to get to rank 16 to get that. Never yield. Direct me. 200k for Steam Tank Doomstag, is it worth it? Uh... Let us begin. 
I don't know if it's worth it, but it is very good. I don't know, I do like getting it for girls. It's fun. Alright, we still gotta move with him. Show me the accused. Tools of judgment ready. For Sigma. Check the area. Ah, oh, there's that's where Ungram went. Okay, that's fine. So check the area around here. All good. You too as well. Alright, no green skin can attack Barakvar or Akendorf, so Marius is fine to go to Matorka. You forgot to take off the armor of destiny off the arch like you disbanded. I did too. I did too. That's okay. Well, um, who should I give it to? What's Carl Franz wearing? I command here. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can keep that. Um, what's Balthazar Gelt wearing? Okay, we'll give him the armor of destiny. While we're here, stimulate the growth as much as possible until we leave. Nah, sorry, it doesn't get immortality. I've already marked all the disciplined ones. Uh, Noble can have immortality, that's fine. Eh, whatever. What Alright, let's get rid of this one here, because we've got other heroes to attach in. And then Volkmar's gonna make his way over here. This guy is staying in the middle, that way he can go to either Dietershafen or Norden at a moment's notice. That being said as well, he doesn't exactly have a large army, but that army there is not very good. And I can hire some regiment for now. So, let's just go into ambush stance. That way, just to try to catch them off guard, see if we can do that. Because they're blocked, they won't be able to go that far. Like, if he moves over here in Force March, um, we, can, we can catch him. Show me the accused. Yeah, come out of his way. And let's put a Witch Hunter in here. Just to really get rid of the corruption as quickly as possible. Uh, this guy here, providing public order. Let's bring him up this way. I could repair that. But it's really expensive. Repairing both of those will only provide two public order. The desolation is only for this turn, so that's going to go down. If we have a look at what the public order is going to be like next turn, it's going to go down by, let's see, provincialism will be one, minus six. So, uh, one, six, seven. It'll be minus five next turn, not to mention whatever corruption, so... Honestly, the public order should be fine. If you're wondering why I leave these two here, increase capacity for those heroes. Build it over here instead. Don't need that. Actually, kind of want growth to happen a bit faster here. Uh, I do, although I do need money. Let's get that going. Are we selling off all the iron? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh. 
We might be able to snatch Kareza Karak off um off them. Maybe. Seek out the heretics. Ah oh, shit, I'm gonna need to build walls up here. If I block this guy here, that should ensure that he can't just jump over here. What? Should have done that before we did it. But just in case, get over over this way. So Karaza Karak, yeah, they saved their ass by um, confederating these guys, which allows us to discover. Lord of Bretonia. I am the best ally, the greatest ally. Fuck the dwarves. <laughs> so what did I do just then? Well, Rapunz is way too far away for me to care, right? But this is the last bastion of the dwarves. I just declared war on them so they get absolutely pummeled by Bretonians. I could also declare war on Tic-Tac-Toe, I suppose. Eh, we'll see how we go. Soviet183 did a five pound super chat. Love your stuff, dude. Help me learn so much. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. The legendary ally. Ah, oh, well. Alright, so these guys here are just about finished, and then we prepare for something to happen over here. Alright. All of our military movements... To Sigma. Right, I need to move to here. Arch Go into ambush stance. I need to recruit another Lord. I need to try to catch this dude. Try to bring him over this way. Did we block him? Of judgment ready. No, he's not recruiting anything, and we don't want to block him this turn. Maybe just recruit... We can use Boris's bait. Okay. The nation calls. The Empire. No. Just soften up those defenses there. Because, yeah, this army's a bit myth. And what we want to do is just blow up both of these settlements. And then we can disband the army. At least until Chaos shows up. And we need to have a bunch of, um... Of, uh... Dudes over here soon. What if the Dawi start winning? So? Then they're my ally. No big deal. Okay, I want growth here because I need to get this province developed. I need to get walls up here as quickly as possible. We don't need public water. Um... Uh, no, an Imperial Pegasus could be good. Oh, God. Try to get him towards Lightning Strike. Again, this army here, temporary for the most part. Okay, we need to build defenses here. Alright, where else are we doing? Yep, that's fine. Yep, try to get that money. It's fine. Alright, oh, oh Yeah, alright, build this turn. Alright, don't spend any more. Alright, I think I've got a bunch of heroes that could use some students. Now. Let me just check. Do you have a student? No, but you got good stuff in there, so I'll leave it. Maybe give the students over to... I trust no man. Oh, he's got a student. To immortal, um, witch hunters. Show me the accused. It is time. Okay, here's one. There we go. And do we not have any more hedge wizards for you? No. 
I'll tell you what, it's going to be so good in Warhammer 3. Get, get excited for this, guys. Um, Winds of Magic power increase plus 20% when increasing. You know? <laughs> Apprentice Wizard. W yes, increase Winds of Magic power plus 20% when increasing. So, in a region that's tempestuous, that'll be an extra two Winds of Magic per turn. So good. Such a good change. Praise... The change. What an upgraded system. <laughs> Winds of magic when increasing. Fucking 80% of the settlements don't increase. Winds of magic. Yes, General. Direct me. Uh, you can have a student. There we go. There is power within prayer. Ah, oh, guys, there we go, student. That'll do. Right, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, fuck. I missed out on the commandment. Where would it have been? Could be bloody anywhere. Oh, the wasteland, right. Yeah, go with growth. Gotta get this developed. Okay, we don't need... We don't need that. And we don't... Yeah, that's fine. Actually, get rid of it. We prefer to get this province growing quickly. Yeah, don't spend any more. Alright, here we go. Alright, we have 13 turns left to get this done. Would channeling help? Still sucks, I guess. Well, last time I checked it out, channeling stance didn't... It was not affected by Winds of Magic percentage increase. So, it, it doesn't affect that. So, those abilities only affect if you're in strong or tempestuous regions, which is about 40% of the regions in the game. So, yeah. About 60 to 80% of the time, the, those abilities are inactive because... They don't do anything when you're at 100 Winds of Magic, and they don't do anything when you're in weak to null Winds of Magic. So it's a very, in my opinion, it's a very bad system. Very, very bad system. Good. Oh wow, a war going towards um Zafbar. Hmm. Caps at a hundred? Yeah, caps at a hundred. Although it is possible to increase it a little bit further, but not by much. Oh shit, yeah, I'd like that. Didn't really. Oh, let's get Defensive Alliance. Uh, I'll just try again next turn. The 
Magic system in Warhammer 3 is competent, it just isn't fun. Yeah, it works, it just isn't fun, it's a downgrade. Yeah. It's a big downgrade. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't Scrag defeat Drake give you an extra 5 max? Yeah, an extra 5 max. For one army, it's not global. We're gonna have to declare war on Wissenland. As suspected, that was complete waste. But we have enough Imperial Authority to do it, as long as we keep Sterling, um, Hockland alive. Watch the quarry! Alright, um... Yeah, you just be disbanded. We don't, oh, hang on. Do you have any followers? No, let's get rid of you. Yeah, I can't. It was a good idea, but it didn't end up paying off. Yeah, because I did a lot of hero actions on this dude. To the provinces. We're just gonna have to straight up declare war on, on Wissenland. I think I've got just enough. Well, at least they took the bait. <laughs> Alright, Toddy. Attack! Do it. Sigma compels us. Okay, 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 okay. How should we proceed? They will be judged. I think we should try to deal with their bears, uh, what are they called? The Goromandi tribe first. By the comet. Oh, what the fuck? I think the heroes are stopping me from Come using the, uh, forward. the camp stance. Onwards. Oh, you son of a bitch. Let us forge our faith. Healing! Said 51% and it gypped me. <laughs> Damn it. I guess we're just gonna have to suck up some attrition. Um, oh, yeah, that public order is much better now. Yeah, much better. This guy doesn't actually need to stay there. Come over here. True servant of Sigma. Sigma lightens my steps. To battle! We march! I trust no man. Step to it! The Empire! Sigma. Trade with three, yep. That's a good idea. Alright, I want you to I transfer that army into Boris. Get rid of him. To the provinces. Reach Frozen Landing next turn, blow that up. Um, and Tools of judgment ready. Oh, maybe I should have assassinated that one. I command here. Yeah, I doubt that's going to give us an additional move point. My orders are to I mean, move. enough to get to Shokdraken. No, it's not enough. Oh, just stay, stay there then. On I trust Make sure no. this guy doesn't go anywhere. Report. Good. Tools of judgment ready. Bring me to battle. Step too far. 
Yeah, this guy's disciplined. Let's make a note of him. Show me the accused. Hunt them out. That's laughable. Uh, that's pretty dangerous. It's pretty dangerous. By the comet. Die. Not unstoppable though. How to proceed? Seek out the heretics. Probably a bit more than what this army here is, can really handle. So what we want to do, I think, is no. just sneak along back here. Hang on. Not possible. You go that way. Forward. The men are key. In encamp stance. Hunts we'll actually general. replenish faster Fetch in enemy up. territory than we will sitting in here. Speak. The nation calls. I will cast out all evil. The nation calls. Sigma heals us. Oh, nice. Disciplined. All right. What do you require? Good. Another one for uh, Volkmar there. And like I said, we're sending him to Hockland. Cool, cool, cool. Moving up. Yes, for now. Not right now. Okay, cool. I'm more than happy for Britonia to like occupy all the stuff over here. We don't have an alliance with them, and they're they're starting to forgive us for what we did against uh, Marienburg. They don't care that much, so that's good. And since we're going to war with the Norskins, they like that. Welcome. How fares the yeah, I'm more than happy for him to take on most of that burden. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Obviously, it says Valiant Defeat because we're quite badly damaged, but it's really not that big of a deal at all. Um, apart from the Great Cannons, which I think I can snipe out. Yeah, this will be fine. Don't forget the Elector Seat of Sterland. Yep, that is right. I got a fair few things to do this turn. Why do people think Nogal is a weak faction? Um... <sighs> Well, let, let me answer that question by asking you a question. Of the Warhammer 3 factions, name one faction that is stronger than Nurgle, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. Okay? So, rather than telling you exactly why Nurgle is weak, it might be better for, for to answer it in terms of questions, right? So, um, you know, if you don't think Nurgle is weak, which faction do you think is, is a... Uh, is weaker than Nurgle. You let me know, and I'll tell you what I think. Lord of metal. What do you bid? Ready for war. State troops ready. Weapon prime. Okay, these ones need to be healed. The these ones here yours. don't need to be healed. The regrowth. It's, we haven't got two points put into that yet. I don't think we need to. You just said name a faction stronger than Nurgle. Sorry, sorry. I was concentrating on other things. Let me reiterate that. Name one faction that you think is weaker than Nurgle. That's Total War Warhammer 3 faction. So, what, of the new races. Which do you think? Is weaker than Nurgle. No, no, no. Of, of the new races. Of the new ones. Demons of Chaos? Okay. Uh, no, I disagree with that. Because the Demons of Chaos, while... Um, the legendary lord is a bit on the lame side, right? The overall mechanics of the um, the demons of chaos can actually be quite strong. 
Like, you get access to minor plagues, you get access to bloodletting, you get access to, uh, not changing of the ways, what's it called, teleport stance. You get access to, um, you know, every single one of the demonic units. You can make some really powerful uh, combinations of armies. Like, when playing as Demons of Chaos, you can make a Bloodthirster Doomstack that has a healer in your army. That's insane. It's an absolutely insanely powerful, even if it's not under the command of the Demon Prince. So, while I think that there is definitely some things wrong with Chaos Undivided, there is no way I would say that uh, it is weaker than Nurgle. Slanesh? No. Slanesh is really strong. Slanesh is really strong. Okay, you just gotta know how to play them. So, sl uh, Vassals for Slanesh is shit. Absolutely shit. But the devotee mechanic, let me pause this. The devotee mechanic, right? It allows you to build free armies. Like, have essentially, yeah, no upkeep, completely free armies to defend your regions. So, what you do is, as you progress throughout the campaign, and you give the gift of um, Slanesh, Right, for every faction leader that you give the gift of Slanesh to, even if you wipe out that faction, that's permanent. So they will constantly give you devotees, right? So if you create a devotee army, it can be a full stack. And if you have a region that is about 75 to 100% um, um, Slanesh corruption, it doesn't take any attrition. All it costs is 20 devotees per turn, right? So you can leave that devotee army in your home territory to defend it permanently right and increase your strength ranking massively and you can do this very quickly so slanesh can snowball completely out of control with devotee armies insanely quickly insanely quickly it is way more powerful than the vassal side of things in fact forget about vassals vassals is a waste of time uh, but it is way more powerful than plague mechanics and also i would argue that slanesh armies are way more powerful than Nurgle armies. Way more powerful. And they don't get fucked up as much by a basically everything. But yeah, Slanesh is very powerful. You just gotta know how to use it. You could even argue that Slanesh might might actually be the second strongest of the new races. The second strongest. They're very powerful, if you know what you're doing. Let the wind of life blow. Quick Moving out. The wind ah. But I guess the big thing with Slanesh is that it does require you to be a skilled player because their armies are micro-intensive. But I don't think they're insanely micro-intensive or difficult to use. Okay, I'll move these guys up front. These ones here are going to get wrecked if I'm not careful. Not real fast enough. Who's the best? Corn. Corn is easily the strongest faction in Warhammer 3. Easily. It's not even close. The faction with no magic turned out to be the strongest faction in the game. It's utterly insane how powerful Corn is. Because of uh, bloodletting and um, their free ruin dwelling, the amount of money they make from killing shit, and um, their uh, blood host armies, they're just insanely powerful.
I love how they left all their artillery behind here. <laughs> Although, it will preserve their bounce of power a fair bit. This guy here's getting killed, get him out. Yeah, let let go tank this a bit. Steam tanks can move while shooting. Uh, they can use their steam attack. Their secondary attack while shooting, yeah. Uh, sorry, while moving. That should be just about over. Okay, they're starting to bring the hell cannons up. Uh, not hell cannons. Hellstorm rocket batteries. <laughs> yes, hell cannons. Don't care about the hellstorm rocket batteries, but I gotta take out the great cannons. They can take us out real quick if we're not careful. Do a bit of healing, and we're in about a, about the same shape as we did coming into it. Uh, we get a lot more out of uh, Earth Blood. Keep doing that. Does the Steam attack have limited ammo? Yes, it just doesn't tell you how much it has, but it does have a limit. Is there any achievement for having zero defeat in a single campaign? No, not in Warhammer. Do you have any idea how much ammunition is? I think it's about 50, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think some of the full strength ones took some damage and some of the non full strength ones got healed. So even that a little bit. If Torx doesn't get nerfed, will he his faction be better than Scarbrand? Yeah. Yeah, Beastman might end up being the most powerful race in Warhammer 3. Alright, I don't have time to chase after him, just go straight for the force. Okay, can we order resolve this? Uh, JJ did a $5 super chat. You look like Mac from a Soy Sunny in Philadelphia. Yep, I know. Thanks for super chat. Okay, yep, we can just order this. Oh, man, that is close. <laughs> Shit. That's okay. Yeah, you can do it and occupy that. Do not waste my potential. And that is the end of Marienburg. Oh, we already had the Elector Count of Sterling position because you only need the capital. So all that's left is Wissenland. I think Life Magic shouldn't heal Steam Tanks, but the Glittering Robe should. 
I'm fine with that. That's cheaper, yes. isn't it? Glittering robe. Oh, I don't have it. Um, yeah, but, you know, that's just not how the game is. So. Yep. Okay, I agree with you. So yeah, Marienburg destroyed. Uh, once useless ally. Ah, uh, they weren't useless. But legend, you said getting Marienburg is a trap. I trust no man. Uh, I'm not too sure what to do with them now. Guess we can go take on Bastone. Uh, after we've done Whistleland, I guess. March on the witches. So I've got treaties with them, so they'll have to be cancelled. Yeah, need to race that gross up. Both. Cool. Alright, so we're on turn 88, and we have 74 settlements. Eh. It's not great. <laughs> it's alright. One of the unique items reduces cost for Glittering Robe. Yeah, I know, but Glittering Robe as a spell sucks. Wow! 60 armor! Whoa! 60 armor on 160 armor units. Glittering Robe is fucking useless. Do you like Shogun 2 more or Rome Remastered? I would prefer Rome Remastered over Shogun 2. What does the Emperor bid? The Righteous Hammer of Sigma. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna reduce those upkeep costs a bit. Good. Alright, do I have anything else to do? So yeah, all of that uh, prestige that I spent on dropping the relation between um, Wissenland and Sterland completely wasted. It didn't come to anything. Show me the so they took that out. Guess I'm not getting Karazza correct then. Hunt them out. Step to it. Seek out the heretics. So just March keep our eye out. Got ahead. What does the Emperor and I think we'd be best Absolutely getting not. Varenka Hills first. I will marshal the men. Moving off. Who calls? Oh, I had a Different growth building I could have gotten. Oh well. Get that when we hit tier 2. Cool. Who calls? What faction would you say has the most micro-intensive armies? One or two and three? Um, probably Bretonia and Slanesh. Why don't you like Shogun 2? I didn't say I didn't like Shogun 2. He asked what I preferred. I didn't say I disliked Shogun 2. build anything right now and Dieter's half and yeah just get the walls set up no I don't need that shouldn't build up there either no just yeah get rid of it 
Uh, Norden, yep, wall it up. Yep, Castle von Rukun, that's all fine, just leave the rest of it. Okay, I don't have that much more money, so let's just leave it and just check heroes' movements. Ones that are important, yep, that's all good. Okay, then we're done with the turn. But Legend, how can you like two things at the same time? <laughs> Do you have a day for early plays? I think I am. No. Yeah, this guy can be disbanded as soon as Volkmar makes his way over here. I trust no man. What's the quarry? And this guy here should probably pick up a few more troops. Given what's coming, Huntsman General. I'm gonna get some halberdiers. Yeah, halberdiers that can be quite useful and decent leadership should be okay. What? Not missile spamming? All right, that's enough for that. Commandments go with growth. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. Growth. Do you know if you will get early access to IE? I assume so, but nothing is guaranteed. It's very important that my relationship with Creative Assembly remains not entitled to anything. So I may or may not get it, we'll see. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, just yeah, get rid of it. That shouldn't be there. Um, I think next turn we can just. Oh, hang on. We've got one, two, three. Let's just get the last of them. Let us forge our faith. Oh. I can get the next one next turn. You'll just have to catch up. How many heroes do I have total? Probably a lot. Oh, I guess we could add it up if they can all be recruited here. Yep, okay, so I've got 22 plus 25, so what's that? 47 plus 10, 57 plus 6, 63. Unless my math is wrong, which I don't trust my head maths at all. This is the first blue line skill stack if two heroes are in the same army. No. Legend doesn't do non-aggression trees with CA. Uh, yeah, no, not really. We do trade agreement, but no non-aggression pact. <laughs> yeah. I just have a trade agreement. But my current relations are like minus 500 with Creative Assembly. But the trade agreement still holds some value, so I haven't cancelled it yet. Ah, oh, okay. I was going to take it. I can't believe he had a lot of movement. Thrones of Britannia incident. Yeah, that... That's where I cancelled the trade agreement. Oh, they cancelled it with me. Well, it's actually both. Yeah. Yeah, I only, I only have a trade agreement treaty with them. That's it. You've got knowledgeable dude there? Yeah, I know. I'm not focusing too much on that. That's not the focus of this campaign. Is that the great streamer penalty? No, I get the great cheeser penalty. That's different. Oh man, the soft bar is gone. Minus 500 might be a bit extreme. It's pretty bad.
Is Belagar campaign hard? Yeah, it can be hard, yeah. I, uh, are you going to conquer Whistling or what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to. There's no way an event is going to cause a war. I'm going to have to just declare war on them. I was going to ask about that. Why has the relation between you and C.A. Soward? I understand if it's something you don't want to talk about. Yeah, it, uh, I don't want to talk too much about it. I don't want to go into, like, fine details, but the short of it is I basically got fucking stabbed in the back by C.A. <laughs> over Warhammer 3. Fucking stabbed me in the back. I don't know they didn't mean to, but they did. That's just how I feel about it. Yeah, they really fucked me over with Warhammer 3 launch. Big time. How's CA reliability look like? Very unreliable. Extremely unreliable. Don't trust them at all. <laughs> Alright. That guy by himself feels like he can take on this settlement. Which he might actually be able to. But if I block him, he won't be able to reach. They will be judged. What have you to say? Show me the for Sigma. Not this this time. I know, but all the other elected council dislike you. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Well, I don't Monster think it. No, it doesn't. Hunter. It won't apply to um, Hunt's Martial Expedition. They don't have fealty. But yeah, we've only got eleven turns left, so it's the last few settlements. I've got enough imperial authority to do it. Everything is working out. We can do it. I just gotta get in position and we can make the attack. Did the highs already get wiped out? No, they're fine. They're fine. Uh, we just had a little bit of a uh, scream, uh, stream drop off there. No big deal. Okay, so, um, yeah, just go over there and blow up Frozen Landing. We can probably just ban this army right after that. War calls. By Sigma's right. But you'll be stuck on zero Imperial Authority? No, I won't. I just won't kill off, um, uh, if I don't kill off Hockland, it's fine. We kick them out of the Empire, that's good enough. I'll be at two Imperial Authority. And then we just gotta wait for an event to show up, and then we can finish off um, Hawkland, which... An Imperial Authority event... Who knows how long that'll fucking take. Who knows. Grant me strength. Might never bloody happen. Blessings of Sigma Healing! What do you require? A time to heal. Alright, this one here will just have to catch up with you. What do you require? Well, we're going. Chosen of Sigma. Seek out the heretic. Speak. Yes, son of Sigma. You know, I really feel like that the warrior priests should be able to ride stegodons. <laughs> Imagine warrior priest riding a stegodon. Why hasn't CA done that yet? <laughs> the nation calls. What if Hockland was killed off by Norska? Uh, no, nah, it's not gonna happen because Volkmar will be sitting there. Any any Norskan armies that come down here, good luck getting through this. You know, they're not gonna be able to handle it. I'll just prevent it from happening. Alright, can't quite make it there. Uh, so that's Wolfric. Yeah, we should just block him. This army just... You know, don't move too much, just... Uh, it's not urgent that we capture Bay of Blades. I trust no man. 
for Sigma. Tools of judgment ready. I will not. Oh shit, we blocked him and he can still move that far. Fuck. I guess he is in uh, force march stance. Huntsman general. Okay, secure the perimeter. Fall in, man. Yeah, make it so that if he does come out in the water, he knows Track that we'll catch him. Station. We just hire a bunch of elector sta uh, state troops and get him. All right, this will be the end of the Goromandi tribe. Men. I am prince and emperor. Yeah, it, they should be able to ride a mammoth. That's right. Seek out the heretics. Throt should be coming back in the next couple of turns. Show me the accused. Yeah, best get rid of this guy here. You are judged. I trust no man. Okay, let's get growth there. And I'll recruit an army here just so we can assassinate this dipshit. Huntsman General! Probably a bit overkill, but we could always send him over to Winter Pyre, which doesn't have a large defense. Could probably beat that. Why well, you have a hundred percent agent success chance everywhere? Uh, elector, so um, arch electors, they increase your global uh, success chance. I just have shitloads of them. Yeah, we, we've got like a thousand percent success chance at this point. By the Helden Hammer. Gotrek, Gernishan. All right, and. Gotrick will just wait here. Where's the nearest tavern then? Actually, no. Send him over this way. Huh? He might need to help against Wolfric. What trickery is this? Your orders? Uh, okay, that's fine. Um. Now, step to it. All right, how are we going over here? The Empire. To the provinces. Yeah, we're pretty much secure to um, keep all this stuff over here. All oh, right, they did a while. What have you to say? Yeah, last thing I want is. Oh. That army. Who knows where that's gonna go? Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. Grimgore, how's he going with his strength ranking? Oh, well, he's been knocked down a lot. Yeah, he's just a war too many people. You know what we forgot to do? We forgot to get that trade agreement with Argwalon. Lord of the Glade. Do you know what I like to do in what else? Get a military alliance out of one of them and then declare war on. Well, actually, I'm not going to really think Glade do that. Lord. They're all allied with each other. I am ready. Are you? See, so yeah, I reckon next turn will be at Grunberg and then the turn after it's Direct wartime. Me. What is this? Uh, don't spend too much. All right. I command here. Carl Franz might be able to make it to Krakadrak next turn because he's got so much campaign movement range now. Okay, and the chaos invasion can actually show up in the next couple of turns. So we need <laughs> we need a lot of witch hunters over here. 
tools of judgment ready. When the Chaos Invasion shows up, Carl Franz needs to wheel about and get back over here. Um, this army here can be disbanded. If I want to recruit a new army for Boris, I can do that. Regal, nah, don't worry about it. You know, we can recruit them at higher rank than this in some places. Can always bring back Boris another time. Arch Lector. Nice. Is Karl Franz army the ideal arm empire army? Nah, it's just... I don't know. I just kind of recruited it. I wouldn't say... There's no such thing as the ideal empire army. Because anything that's doomstacky is too expensive, right? So you, you take... Like, look at the upkeep cost on this. 7,471. And then look at the upkeep cost on this one. So this army is good, right? Sorry, this, this army here is good. But this army here is way better, but it's also fucking expensive. So it's just a balancing act. It's like you can go full cheap, but maybe you'll lose a few battles. Or you can go super expensive, they'll never lose, but you'll only have a couple of armies. So the empire is just a constant balancing act. There's no such thing as a ideal empire army. You just build your armies based on the situation that you're in. And I brought this army over here because this can handle chaos pretty well. You know, not perfectly. You know, you've got your anti-large here, anti-infantry here. Honestly, getting even more artillery is fine, but problem is if you get rough terrain, you're fucked. Um, but the terrain out here is usually pretty good. Huntsman General! Huntsman General! This guy have lightning strike? Oh, damn. Alright, I don't have enough money for anything else. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Alright then. Now, is that where heretics lurk? Well, since we've got Barak Var, it makes sense to get these other settlements, even if they're red. Yes. Don't worry too much about Forest of Gloom. It doesn't provide any real advantage to us. Are Hellblaster Volley Guns single entity melters? Yeah, as long as they've got some experience, they're pretty good. Because experience massively improves their accuracy. Um, you just gotta watch out for like small characters like uh, goblins and uh, rat assassins. I wouldn't, I'd just ignore them because they're too small. But yeah, if there was something like um, a Dragon Ogre Shagath or Colex Sun Eater, who is a Dragon Ogre Shagath, was coming at you. Um, then Hell Blast of all the guns, lock on and shoot. They're really good at it. Because they're very accurate. They're kind of like organ guns, but less damaging. But, yeah. Organ guns are definitely better. I think. Alright, well, I think we got all the technology that really matters. Everything else is, you know, good but not needed. Yeah, state issue weapon is good. Uh, missile strength. Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty important to go with that. Cool. Have you played Elden Ring? I have played Elden Ring. It wasn't for me. Um, I, you know, I thought it was alright. I just, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. It's just fucking weird. Witch Hunter's just hanging around here doing nothing, do I? Nope. So yeah, the earliest time that the Chaos Invasion can show up is turn 91. That's the earliest it can show up, so that's in two turns from now. We'll be done with Clan Mulder next turn, I think. Summon the Elector Counts. Yeah, it looks like we'll get there next turn. Here we go. Do you still occasionally play Skyrim? Yep. Yep, still every now and again I give I play Skyrim.
I've never finished Skyrim though. <laughs> you don't play Skyrim to finish it though. You are not welcome in my court. Yeah, I don't think so. What was weird about it, if I may ask? I don't know. The gameplay, just... I, I'm not used to it. Um, I, I never got into, like, Dark Souls or any of that kind of stuff. So, I played it and was just like, meh. It was alright. I just, I just didn't get into it. Not a true gamer. I guess not. But what can I say? I just I wasn't... I didn't dig it. I didn't have fun. Like, I played it for a few hours and I just thought, you know what, I'm just not really having fun. I'd rather play other games. So I just I stopped playing it. Are you watching any TV shows these days? I just finished watching Lucifer on um, Netflix. Kind of like that. <laughs> it was alright. It was... It was a bit silly, but... It was alright. Maidenless Legend. Yeah, I, I get it. I just... You know, sometimes the game can come out and it's just it's not for you. you know? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why anyone would get upset with me for not liking... Um, uh, Elden Ring. I don't think it's a bad game. I just... I have no interest in it. Did you ever travel to Solstheim in Skyrim? Yeah, I never finished it, but I did travel to Solstheim. <clears throat> played Divinity original senior play spare time. I've never played Divinity. Have you seen the boys TV show? No, I haven't seen the boys. Greetings. All you survey are loyal to me. Nope. Greetings from Sigma. Why did you want the Elector Council to go to war with you? You lose less Imperial authority. If they go if they declare war on you, you don't lose any Imperial authority. But if you declare war on them, you lose massive amounts of Imperial authority. Luckily we've got enough. Lucifer in the comics dunks a demon in his own boiling pot. Lucifer in the show, smiley face, smiley face, my family problems. Yeah. What are you going to do? I never got into the comics, so it was just, it was just there on Netflix and I watched it. I, I liked it. It was alright. Ten turns remaining. Well, Whistlelind, you've got this one last turn to declare war on me, or else I'll declare war on you. So, at this current rate, I mean 91, 92, 93. So, by turn 93, we should have the entirety of the Empire, which will allow us, I believe, to use the Summon the Elector Counts mechanic. If, do you guys know there's a mechanic if you own every single one of the Elector Counts? I, don't, I, I think... Um, like, Hockland can still exist, as long as they're not actually in the, um, the Empire. Uh, there is a mechanic. See, I, I like that when they do that sort of late game stuff. Uh, Wolfric didn't even move. It's an auto-resolve Pyrrhic victory. So that'll act towards... The um, <laughs> bloody trait. It's fine. Sigma has heard my prayer. Now with all of these characters here, watch how much influence we have over chaos. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Characters seven hundred and seventy-one untainted. 
it says that we're heading from 33, sorry, 32.4 to 99.2, but it's going to happen 7% a turn. Ready. Volkmar. Godtrek, Gurnishan. Is that where heretics lurk? But only 7% a turn cap. Yeah, it can't go any higher than 7% per turn, I think. Alright, I don't know if Throt's there. And I don't know if it's worth waiting around for Throt to show up. Because we got to get the fuck back. Make haste, men. No, Throt's not there. Could sack it. A ten percent extra camp uh, health is not that big of a deal. I, and it, it is, but at the same time, I just need this to be gone. We got other problems. The third unit in Volkmar stack is nearly dead. That's okay, we got a life wizard. Okay, Clan Mold is dead. Can always revive them if you really wanted to. Because, yeah, I need these guys over here. Chaos is coming. Alright. You should be able to handle this shit over here. Weapons at the ready! Yes, General. Step to it! Onwards! Strike first! Strike first! Just you wait. Women 3 Blessed Holy War will only be unlocked at rank 50 and increase the action success chance by 1%. Hey, that's still pretty good. We're there! Honestly, I don't have a problem with that. Like, it's kind of overpowered how it is right now, but... Yeah, whatever. Huntsman General! Lead no one behind! Yeah, should be able to handle that, no problem. Alright, so now Carl Franz needs to make his way back over here and prepare for the Chaos Invasion. Which is not our primary job, but maybe... Maybe if you guys want to con see, uh, see the campaign continue, we can keep doing that. Uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, let's just get this uh, other stuff done first. Yeah, that guy's nearly dead, but he won't decay completely. He'll be fine. Godtrek! Uh, Sean Reichart did a $69.69 .69 super chat. How much dollars to download a Southern Realms mod and play Border Prince campaign? I believe that it's free for you to download. Yeah, you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> I know what you meant. Um, uh, I don't want to do that, so I I'm not going to. But thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it. Huntsman General. Uh, maybe, how about I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Drip. Seek out the heretics. Fool! To untamed lands. I will not. Hmm. Huntsman General. Show me the accused. Report. What happened to that hero that Tools was right here? Judgment ready. Onwards! See, we're not at full strength, but we have three more units than he does. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units of garbage. That's not exactly that tough. These are a problem. Ogres are not that big of a deal. Because I can lightning strike here. Or maybe lightning strike him. Ooh, imagine if I lost that. Fool. What? Drift. Now. Huntsman General. Okay, hang on. Stay let me together. let me Ooh, I'm gonna do this. I think we just need to have faith in the heart of the card. Here we Track go. Of distinction. Tough battle coming. Well, maybe a tough battle. We'll see. Might be out of order. 
<laughs> I really thought I was gonna have to fight that manually. Pfft. Holy crap! I can't believe how powerful auto resolve is these days. Are you worried your warrior priest doomstack might get the insane trait? Nah, because if we are here for a couple of turns, the chaos corruption will go away, and then it won't be able to get it. Strike first, strike fast. This is ours now. Huntsman General. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. Yes, on march. I trust no man. I thought that was going to be a tough fight. And I that was the not their only two. army, but they don't have much. Do they I want peace? Time no. for two. All right, well, we don't need you anymore. Let you are me. fired. Yeah, give me that money back. All right, Gotrick. I don't really need you for anything now, do I? Um, why don't you come over here and assist Carl Franz in being like a a like um a bait? They will be judged. Yep, get your ass over here. Is it time? What's the strength ranking look like? Two. Well, I did just disband a few armies because our money was, you know, was starting to cost a bit. Thorgrim, could you go and secure this so that I don't have to? Show me the accused. What have you to say? So, on march. Just checking the area the there. The nation calls. Cool, doesn't look like anyone can attack us here. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Yes, my lord. What does the can you compare the upkeep of the state troops? Okay, let's have a look. So, 206 for regular crossbows. For state troop crossbows, it is... 318. So, yeah, they're 50% more expensive. Okay. Any more military moves to make? Nothing looks like it. Marius Leetdorf can get a level up. Yeah, you can have your immortality. I think you've earned it. Yeah, mad dick. Okay, there you go. Cool, now we'll start making money again. Alright, we are almost done. Do you think CA will change the Empire and Dwarves to keep up or be balanced with Warhammer 3 factions? Um, I don't think that the CA are going to touch on the Empire or Dwarves that much. I feel like if you just import the Empire and the Dwarves straight from Warhammer 2 into Warhammer 3, they're more or less going to be fine. Um, it's the Vampire accounts that it's really iffy about because of the different changes for them. Um, I, I feel like the Warhammer 3 mechanics don't blend well with uh, Vampire Account playstyle, but we'll see. Um, I think the Empire will be fine. Same thing with the Dwarves. Um, the Dwarves have always been kind of a... They're, they're strong on the battlefield, kind of. They're, they're strong if you don't cheese, right? Because they don't have any cheese, right? Because they don't have any way of like getting a wizard to just whiz around enemy for... Oh, here we go. Um, to just whiz around enemy forces, that kind of stuff, like you can with pretty much every other race in the game. So if you hate doing that kind of stuff, a lot of people think that the dwarves are actually really strong. Uh, but since I do that a lot, I don't think the dwarves are strong. I think it's good to have access to those kind of abilities, and dwarves just don't have it. Um, they're a really reliable, non-micro-intensive, low-skill ceiling faction. And every Dwarf player will always put me in the book for saying that, but unfortunately that's just how I feel about it. Because of the Winds of Magic. 
Um, yeah, because of the Winds of Magic and also because of how sieges work. The old the, the old siege system in Warhammer 2 uh, benefits the vampire counts a lot, if you know what you're doing. Which I showed you the other day. Don't think we need that there anymore. Yep, get money. Wrecker's Point should probably build walls just in case. Alright, that's all my money. Dwarfs might get stronger in Warhammer 3 because less melee cheats for AI. Well, that's the case for everyone. Everybody benefits from that. They're not going to get stronger in relation to other factions. Uh, I think it was over here. Yeah, this one here needs the... Um, get that. Because it's got to strip the corruption away. I think it's our first gem resource. That's good. Loads of money coming through. Uh, I don't think we need this barracks here. We can get rid of it. Seek out the heretics. Yep, you can have your immortality. Godtrek, defender of the faith. No immortality for you. You suck. So what we'll have to do with the next battle is fight it manually, so that we can heal all of these characters. Because I can go into a camp stance, but it will take forever to heal. Also, in Warhammer 3, in terms of the dwarves, you got to keep in mind that in Warhammer 2, walled settlements are easier to defend than unwalled settlements. But in Warhammer 3, walled settlements are detrimental. So, when playing as the dwarves, building walls everywhere will no longer be the go-to strat, unless they change the second... Um, the second... Um, a capture point, which I don't think they're going to. Every conversation that I've had with Creative Assembly basically has them digging in their heels about that and not willing to change it. I feel so strongly about the walled sieges in Warhammer 3 that the defender has a disadvantage over the attacker, um, at least in campaign, because of the uh, second capture point. I feel really strongly about that. So when playing as dwarves, you you really well as any faction, you really don't want to build walls everywhere as minimal numbers as possible. This is why I think that Norska is really going to benefit from Warhammer Three because Norska can't build walls anywhere, even in ma major settlements. So they benefit from the fact that they can build up big garrisons and not have walls. You have two barracks in Southern Oblast, by the way. Yeah, I know, but um, it increases capacity for hero captains. Don't don't worry about that where it says that. The game gives you a whole whole bunch of prompts and stuff. Just ignore it. The game doesn't know how to play the game. <laughs> I trust no man. Tools of ready. Might be a problem for Bretonia since they get walls automatically. Yes, except that Bretonian walls were never meant to actually defend the cities. It was just meant to delay attacks. Bretonia is... A faction that can afford fuckloads of armies because they don't have supply lines. So building walls as Bretonia at tier three was never about actually defending your cities and was entirely about delaying the enemy. So it's actually okay for them. Whereas with the dwarfs, you built walls with the expectation that your garrison was gonna fuck the enemy attacker, but that's not necessarily gonna happen in Warhammer three. Anything the game says, don't trust it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep things in mind about this game. Creative Assembly don't know how to play their own games well. They know how people... They know how they want people to play the game. But the way that they design it, there is always unintended ways to play it. And those ways are almost always... Optimal. And they try to trick you. They try to guide you into playing it in an unoptimal way. Because that's how they want you to play it. Yeah. Like with quest battles, like they'll um, put in prompts for you to do stuff, but those are traps. So you put traps in their games constantly. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of times, don't trust the tooltips. Don't don't trust what the game is telling you. Don't forget the dwarves would be weaker due to spell resistance. Yeah, exactly. Magical magical weapons will severely hurt the dwarves. Greetings. All you survey are loyal to me, so. Mm, you're at war with Tyrion, so no. I can't imagine you're gonna live long. Do you think getting buffs when mounted on walls would make walls more worth it? Um, well, they do get a buff. The, the problem is... N you, okay. Get... Stats are great and everything, but getting, like, 5% extra melee attack or 10% extra melee attack is trivial compared to having a good choke point. The thing the is, you can build barricades that provide that you with extra melee defense or... Unconvinced. Reduce the enemy's melee attack by however much. So, um, why would you stand up on the walls where your archers can't shoot up and provide assistance, where the AI can actually get the exact same buff that you get, um, as opposed to getting a choke point where you put down a barricade where the AI cannot make use of those benefits and you can shoot into their flanks? Oh, fucking hell. The earliest possible time for it to show. <laughs> ah shit that is the earliest time it can show up 5% chance of that happening uh oh good thing we got loads of witch hunters alright this is why we had to like put a stop to that straight away god damn it Carl friends you need to get over here now is it time Aw, oh, bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. Try to get an arrow of Akshi on a troll. Have you even met Malekith yet? Yes, we've met Malekith, but he's too far away for me to care. Okay, where is the... Yeah, you need to be aiming for their um, champions over here. They actually blocked it. Why you spread them out like that? Right. Checkerboard formation. It is the optimal way to set up your archers when dealing with melee focused army. No delays. On the hunt. Minimizes their damage, maximizes our damage output. Allows for minimal obstructions Tracking. while they have a hard time getting through us. Slow them down if we can. That would be good. Making ground. Yes. Moving out. On the hunt. Proceeding. Die, scum. Good. Broke the trolls. Nice. What we do is try to get... Yeah, see how they turned around here? Now they're... It's good to shoot them. See here? They've got two units fighting one, allowing these other ones here to attack. That's why checkerboard's so good. See, this one here. See, if we had gone into a big line, it would have actually attacked two units. And a unit in melee can't shoot. Most of the time. Okay, 
And see, look how our units can just turn around and shoot straight into the flank of this unit here. Melee infantry just get fucked by checkerboard formation. As long as you don't get completely overwhelmed by numbers. Minimal friendly fire, maximum damage. Nobody's obstructed. Valiant defeat. As you know, you confederate all the elect accounts from elect to the party. Uh, there's just one left, Wissenland. There's no way we're going to be able to confederate them, so I'm going to have to declare war on them. Would you recommend a Lothan Seaguard stack or Sisters of Avalon to do checkerboard formation? Uh, both. It just you could do either. So if you're low on funds, Lothan Seaguard. If you've got plenty of money, then Sisters of Avalon. Unless you're going up against dwarfs because of their magic resistance. But I guess in Warhammer Three, it won't matter. Checkerboard's still broken, one and three. It's not broken, it's, it's just an effective maneuver. Is tactic still broken in Warhammer 3? Is winning battles still broken in Warhammer 3? It works exactly as intended, it's just a formation. They will be judged. Alright, well. Report. Try to slow them down as much as we can. Of judgment ready. What have you to say? Show me the accused. Heretics! Show me the accused. Seek out the heretics. I trust no man. I trust no man. So, Carl Franz should be able to handle pretty much all of them, as long as it's not all of them all at once. Okay, how far can we force March? Alright, he'll have to take some attrition, but we have to get over here. I gotta get. Oh I shit, it's gonna take a while to get back. Yeah, it'll be fine. Might help for you to have some equipment. Dirt Thirst at a Tittle Super Chat. Rip Isabel straight in Worm 3. Yeah, I feel ya. Thanks for the chat, dude. Appreciate Wild it. Mates, warriors. I accuse. Tools of judgment ready. Okay, military presence is over here. Is that where heretics lurk? Ready. Speak. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Oh wow, he doesn't want to recruit anything. I guess he's just Sigma full on given up now. Judgment is death. Critical success, nice. Volkmar the Grim. Well, it is time. We didn't get the event to uh Show me the accused. What have you to say? To do it, so they will be judged. Oh look, their their fealty actually went up. Because of the low relationship We're never we're never gonna get six fealty within um within that amount of time. It's it's never gonna happen. Okay. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this fight. Yeah, we lost four Imperial Authority from that, and then we'll lose two more from conquering them. Let us begin. They will be and that'll be it. Moving up. I trust no man. No, no. So. <laughs> Close defeat. Oh, uh, I, I can understand why I would think that. Fealty of Whistlet has gone up. Maybe going for 10, 20 turns ago would have been the right choice. Um, no. No, well, maybe. Maybe. Well, let's just think about that. So, let's just say, instead of declining to defend them, I had actually defended them. They'd be at 6 now instead of 4. I'd still need to get four more uh, fealty, so that would require thousands of uh, of uses of. Um... It it may have been possible. It may have. 
It's too late now. It's too late, so we, we have to... Sometimes you just make the wrong call, you know? It's too late now. There's definitely not enough time. To confederate them, they have to be killed. Burning halberd is is fine, but obviously great swords won't be burnt by that quite easily. enough out of him. Move back. Alright, I need to create a breach so I can get in. That will do. Transmutation's alright against artillery, I suppose. And for 10 wins of magic, that's not disgustingly bad. Especially with that many of them in this area. And it does destroy the artillery pieces. Who cares about the crew if we can get rid of the artillery? I think we got rid of... All the art. Oh no, all but one. Oh, that's okay, just let that be. Alright, steam tanks. In you go. You go in as well. Would you make Gelt a Count of Whistleland? Yes. Uh, yes. Make him the Count of Whistleland is definitely the way to go. So we'll switch it up. Yeah, because that missile resistance is really good for him. Let me just roll right over everything. And there we go. Alright, so we've still got two more settlements to take. But that's a good start. That's the that's the the most difficult of the settlements. Can unique items be stolen? Is there a certain chance that'll happen? Some unique items can be stolen if they're not tethered to a character. So um, an item like um, Galmaraz can't be stolen. But an item like the the, uh, the, what's it called? 
not the Reichland Runefang. Uh, not that one. You know the items the that you get when you've... I'll see if I can find one. Like Grudge Settler. See this one here? That can be stolen. But the thing is, you can just instantly get it back by switching the elect account. So sometimes they can be stolen. Most of the time they can't be stolen though. Patriarch. Since Grom Brindle starts close to the Dark Elves and Immortal Empires now, would that change anything in how would you play them? Like rushing home instead of killing Dark Elves? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. Alright, we'll just upkeep for artillery. Don't want that. And probably don't need this. Seek out the heretics. Alright, what else do we need to do this turn? Gotrick. Yeah, I'm gonna need you over here right away, boy. Geralt, after um, dealing with Wissenland, I think they should just rush over to help deal with Chaos. We don't have anything else going on anywhere. Lightning Strike. Yeah, Lightning Strike will be particularly useful against Chaos. I know we want to reduce upkeep cost, but we can get to that later. Immortality for you, yep. Might help to start getting more knowledgeable characters. Yes. And... Ugh. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Beast Wizard Doomstack. I don't want to do it, but I could. Uh, okay, let's see here. So, I think we were doing that. Why did we switch? Oh, probably for multiple artillery barrels. All good. Akendorf, get that, get the growth going. Now, if the Chaos Forces go out in the water and come over here, I'll just abandon it. Also, by the way, guys. Zero defeats. Should we get the defeat counter up? Let me see if that's still there. Yeah, there we go. Zero defeats. <laughs> Here's the thing. That um, text up on the screen is cursed, because every single time I do that, I end up getting a defeat shortly after. Alright, so, we need to fight this battle manually here. Let us forge our fate. Tools of judgment ready. So that I can heal all of these units. Otherwise... They'll take forever healing, just in case, like, a Norsecan army comes down, we need to be at full strength. Don't forget to make guilt Whistling count then. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yep, yep, yep. Can you duplicate the items by changing the elect account and winning it back on battle? Does it automatically reset them? Uh, I believe theoretically it is possible to duplicate it, but is any of the elect account's items really worth doing that? Yeah. Are any of them worth like putting that much effort? No, I just use how much wins do we have? No, we have a bit. This is fine. Uh, Volkmars doesn't need uh, healing, just go stand over there. Heroes stack to the Wood Elves. Uh, yeah, this would actually be quite good against the Wood Elves. Because they're not great against single entities, unless they're Swordmasters of Hoeth. <laughs> Depends on what you're going up against. Need a rant counter? I haven't done any rants. I've just answered questions. That's all I've done. I haven't done any rants today. Or any other day recently. Problem is, some people are so desperate for me to be considering ranting that if I just say anything to do about Warhammer 3, oh, legend, that's a rant! Problem is, this has got to do with the tone, uh, my tone of voice. It's always very, like, blunt. So people think it's ranting, but I'm not.
Hey legend, what do you think about Warhammer 3? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, he's ranting! Would you say Guilt is a better spell caster than Marathi? Marathi technically is better because she has GAC. It's GAC. Uh, but I feel like Guilt's magic is more effective for its price. What's GAC stand for? Great Arcane Conduit, right. Um... Uh, who's better, Marathi or Gelt? In terms of spell casting, I, I gotta give it to. I, I, they're about the same. About the same. They both got really good, cheap spells. They both got loads of winds of magic. Yeah, I gotta say it's a, it's a tie. Marathi does have better spells, but Gelt has cheaper spells. Excuse me. Pretty funny if it said close victory. I go in his name. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. They will be judged. I only got 815 corruption there now. Uh, untainted. Let me just see. Hang on. If I go Arch Lector. We're putting him at rank 13 now. Arch Lector, true servant of Sigma. So from 813 to 859. <laughs> God, that's ridiculous. What's the quarry? Oh, I love that. Where next? All right, stay. Actually, you probably get more replenishment by staying in enemy territory and in camp stance. Up. Yeah, uh, marginally. Seek out the heretics. Tools of judgment ready. Sir, pick up the pace. Show me the issue. Heretic, I trust no man. Yeah, might need some more witch hunters over here. Who do you think is the strongest lord right now? Um, Malagor is probably the most powerful. Malagor and, and Teclas are probably the most dangerous on the battlefield. When controlled by the player. When controlled by the AI, uh, Sisters of Twilight are the most dangerous. So many disaster battles are sent in, um, going up against the Sister Twilight, and most of them I can't really do anything about it. They're just so bloody strong. Look at me, I have 85% physical resistance. Cool, do we have any magical attacks? No. Well, that's just great. Let's just shoot her. Oh wait, she fires back at longer range. Okay, she's going into melee. Oh wait, she's on a fucking dragon. Look, we almost killed her. Oh, she just generated fucking 2,000 health again, because she was low on health. Yeah, Sisters of Twilight are the fucking ever-chosen, essentially. They're really underrated in order resolve Meh, let's get it. There's a landmark, whatever. Alright, I don't have tons of cash. So... What does the Emperor bid? Okay, before we go over I there, refuse. let's just make sure there no. are... Any serious green skin threats. Greetings, manlings. Surprised they weren't off for military lines there. 
they will be judged. Tools of judgment ready. March on the witches. Into battle. Yes, my lord. Why do you go so many archers early game? Are they better than spears and swordmen? Yep. Spearmen and swordmen are practically useless on very hard battle difficulty. What? Nice. By the comet, you have One settlement. It's making good money. Fucking four armies. The <laughs> oh, the AI don't get that many cheats. Seek out the heretics. Alright, I think we're good for the turn. Actually, let me just check my military movements. Yep, yep. Yep. Volkmar's good. One more rank up to get to War Altar of Sigmar. Flame attacks can be detrimental, but there you go. Just don't go fight Tyrion. Shit, I didn't give that guy immortality, did I? Okay, this guy gets immortality because he's disciplined. Cool. Okay, now the disciplined one here. Let's see if we can give him some stuff that'll make the overall army better. Brass Cleaver. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. White Cloak of Ulrich is good. If we have one of those. Tormentor Sword is good. And yep. And sure, why not? Would you be into doing legendary normal campaigns to so recruit other types of units as well? No. I'm not interested in, in playing that way. I don't I don't care about um not recruiting law friendly armies or balanced armies. I don't care. Here's the thing, if I play a normal battle difficulty, I will literally do the exact same thing I'm doing right now. Because it's not like on normal battle difficulty, it flips the balance. It doesn't flip it at all. Um, it just becomes less pronounced that the melee sucks. Melee, melee infantry are inferior on all battle difficulties. And if you want to play with melee infantry, all the more power to you. But again, and I've, I have to explain this quite a lot. I don't want to do it. Uh, what could we get here? Yeah, let's get some handgunners. Okay, I'll merge these. Huntsman General! The Great Outdoors! Where next? Equipment check. No, what am I doing there? Where's the guns? Does that change your Warhammer three? Not really. No. Show me the accused. Well, a little bit. Melee um, missile units are a little bit derpy in Warhammer three. Uh, and with Cathay, you definitely should have some melee infantry to hold the front line in a missile stack. Um, at least until you get like dragon crossbow. But missile charged. units are still. Optimal against the AI. 
That didn't change in Warhammer 3, it, but it is less pronounced. In Warhammer 2, it's like ridiculously obvious that missile units are the meta, but in Warhammer 3, you can get away with it a bit more. Show me the accused. Yeah, this guy's just March on the witches. keeping iron stuff out here. Oh, we have Whistleland. Yeah, okay, so let's see here. We were going to make Balthazar Gelt, who is currently of Soland, kick him out there. Electric Hand of Whistleland, missile resistance 40%, missile strength for artillery. Let's see, does that apply to um, steam tanks? So, missile strength 565. Of course. I don't think it changed it. I don't think it did. I'm not sure. Alright, and then at... Doesn't matter who gets that. There it is. Summon the elect accounts. We, we've done it. Sort of. We're not quite done. But yeah, once you own all elect account positions... We will. You can summon the elect accounts. All elect account troops will be recruit... Recruitment pools will be replenished instantly. So what that means is that... All of these units, which we have now fully unlocked, will be available uh, again. Oh, speaking of which... I could get rid of them and get rid of the steam tank. Alright, right, let's move on. We don't have the entirety of the Empire, though. Yeah, it's fine. I want to be friends with Tyrion. Warhammer 3 is still very much a work in progress. It might polish out. Oh, I totally agree. You know, I reckon a year or two from now, Warhammer 3 should be really good. But that doesn't excuse the absolutely idiotic design decisions that were put into 3. You know? It's as if it was um, designed by people that don't play Total War games. It doesn't excuse the shit design. But I absolutely agree with you. A year or two from now... Warhammer 3 should be really good. It should be better than Warhammer 2. It doesn't excuse the dumb decisions that they made leading up to it. Uh, Matthew Brooks at a $5 Super Chat. Hey, Legend. Late to the party. Glad to see you get all the elector seats. Been fun to watch. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the Super Chat. Did that summon the elector counts button always been there? I played Empire for hours and never noticed it. Yeah, it's always been there. So it's been there, but you have to own every single elect account seat. Is there a cooldown on summoning them, or can you do it every time you have 2k prestige? I think it's 10 turn cooldown. Now, it'd be best if we block the ones at the back rather than the ones at the front because we want some of them to come in. Shout out to the Empire Knights for that holding on in that one battle. Yeah, yeah. That was the closest we came to a defeat in this campaign so far. And don't forget that battle at um, Massive Orkal with the, with the Ogres and the Archers. Do we have Turbulence? No, everything seems stable. Which start is better, Malekith or Malice? Ooh, probably Malekith. But you can get a really strong start with Malice by confederating him on turn two. Confederating Malekith. But it's... It's expensive. There's drawbacks to it. Let's 
going to be a rebellion here, but luckily we can capture that. And I stop them from no showing man. up. They will be judged. Report. Now. Speak. Scope leader. Okay, Take luckily they didn't build extra defenses there, Battle so that's position. easy to capture. Cool. Move in, scouts. Where next? Huntsman General. Huntsman General. Yeah, it's not much, but we could use extra defenses. Just let the rebellion happen, we can handle it. Hunters! Uh, Warsmith Galvanic did a five pound super jet here. Have some money for all the great content you provide. I try to watch some or of all of your streams and vids. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Yes, I will stop them. Declared Warren Elect counts minus four. Oh, it didn't actually um, lower relations with them doing this. Will. Look at this team tank damage now. Uh, it's the same as it was last turn. It's fine, none of them died. Yes. Alright, what's needed for victory? For short campaign victory... Uh... In order to get short campaign victory, you have to defeat Archeon. Um, and I haven't gotten loads of these. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's done. Control all provinces of the Empire. We haven't quite done that yet. Nordland, Ostland, Hockland, Midland, Talbakland, Ostermark, Reikland, Stirland, Averland, Notwissenland, and the Wasteland. There is just one more settlement to go, and we're on turn 92. Alright. Sure. Carl Franz, get back over here. You get over here. We'll use you as bait. Alright, I got three dudes here. Keep blocking the ones at the back. I trust no man. Report. Seek out the heretics. have you to say? So there's twelve armies in here. So if we block the ones at the back, that means there's nine armies coming in. I trust no man. That makes Report. it eight. They will be judged. Show me the accused. Seven. The six. Seek out the heretics. Five. I trust no man. Four. Show me the accused. Three. Okay, yeah. Cool, we've, we've got a Witch Hunter for every single one of them, except for three. So, he's, he's got Lightning Strike, so we'll see how we go. I shouldn't need to lose Volksgrad. Let's see how we go. <coughs> they may run around over this way, and if they if they start going that way, I'll just, I'll just abandon these territories. I don't need them. Because obviously I don't have the required force. Tools of judgment ready. No, on march! I don't think there's any armies out that way. Huntsman General! Hunters! To untamed lands! Volkmar! Sigmar has heard my prayers. What do you require? Pick up the pace! Sing battle hymns! They will be judged. Onwards! Help yep, that's all fine. Just keep an eye out, make sure nobody comes down this way. And... Saka BB, yep. Moving. Oh shit, that's not going to revolt, is it? Uh, even if it does revolt, it'll be a Chaos Revolt, so it'll be fine. The instrument of Sigmar's will. They won't be able to blow it up right away. Alright, you're not needed here anymore, so you swing around over here. Yes. Yep, they're not going anywhere. Alright, Marius, you just keep an eye out on... Oh, hang on. They will be judged. Yeah. I'm going to come over here and just blow this up. The nation calls. Create a bit of a buffer in this area. 
by the comet. It's all, it's all red territory. We don't need it. What? Looks like this guy here is globally Sweet. recruiting. It'd be pretty funny if a greenskin army just all of a sudden, like if some fucking doomstack ran down here and just got a, a victory on us. <laughs> I better, I better send someone to get, keep an eye on it just in case. What do you require? It will be done. Because you never know. Sometimes they'll just forget about attacking easier enemies and go straight for me. All right, how many armies do we have? Six. Okay, that seems about right. Yep, all that looks good. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about construction this turn. Let's just uh, move on. Okay, we know where the imminent rebellion is. It's going to be there, which we'll be able to handle. Just levels up another time. Here we go. Why did you sack before you settled? I didn't sack. Sorry, sorry, I didn't settle. Where did I sack before I settled? Can you block the Chaos Armies with hero placements? Oh, if you have enough of them, yeah. Oh, look, it was Nagaron that came over here. Ooh, okay, that's actually not good. Got Black Ark Invasion coming soon. There is a mod that lets you plan your your levels up. You do not have to manually level them all up. Consider giving it a try. Yeah, but I don't mind leveling it all up manually. I don't mind doing that. So it sounds like a good mod, and if you want to use it, awesome. Um, it's not something that uh, that I desire. So you think immortal? Empires will release will be bad and full of bugs. No, I have no idea. Um, I just think that there are going to be okay. Let me, let me do a prediction. Let me do a prediction. All right. Um, I think that Immortal Empires will be more or less praised of on release. This is just a guess. Okay, I think it'll be fine. Um, do I think it'll be better than Warhammer Two? That's questionable. It's definitely going to be better than Realm of Chaos. You can't have a worse launch than Realm of Chaos, right? That's that was like the absolute rock bottom. Um, but there are design decisions that are just part of the existing Realm of Chaos campaign, like the siege rework, like the Winds of Magic, like sort of weird diplomacy, weird pacing, that gives me concern. Like, when I played Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 3 back-to-back, -back, Warhammer 2's flows better. It just flows better. I don't know why. You know, the pacing of the campaign, the mechanics, it's just more fun. Um, I have no idea if that's going to translate over to Immortal Empires. No way, it's better than Wormer 2 on launch. I bet everything I have. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's a pretty safe bet that it's probably not going to be as good as Wormer 2 on launch. That's probably a safe bet. Um, is it going to be like Realm of Chaos? I Like, CA would have to be absolute morons to do a worse launch than Realm of Chaos. <laughs> you know, I, like, I don't have much faith in Creative Assembly, but I've got enough faith in them that that's probably not going to happen. All right, guys. Ready. No peace. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! I have to fight it manually. <laughs> uh, I guess I could just take him out of the army. By the comet. Fools are lazy. Onwards. Bye bye, Wissenland. We should lose two Imperial Authority.
Right, it'll be it'll be triggered over next turn. It just hasn't updated yet. Control all provinces of the Empire either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. Well, you, you can't vassalize or military ally those guys. So there we go. The Empire... Hang on. Oh, God, look at that. Hockland still exists, though. Every single region in the Empire has been captured before turn 100. Um, and we, st we will still have positive Imperial authority. Um, even if we conquer um, Hockland, we will go down to zero Imperial authority. So we just lose that buff, which isn't the end of the world. But you really don't want to be in these. Because, like, losing tax rate, that... Well, then again, it's about the same as losing that. Um, now, I don't know if we should, like... Well, we're going to end the stream here, but I don't know if we should end the campaign. Because, honestly, we've still got a really good turnout. 2,137. That's a really good turnout. So... Don't you remember your prediction bet history? It's ridiculously low. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Don't trust my predictions. It doesn't matter, though. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, my biggest issue with Wormer 3 is the map design and troop movement. Everything seems so clunky. Wormer 3 does seem very clunky. You're absolutely right. Um, anyway, did he summon the elect accounts? Alright, the game's saved, so I'll just do it. Summon the elect accounts. There we go. It's a 20 turn cooldown, not 10 turns. It doesn't save the game, so... Uh, I'm happy to pick this up again tomorrow. Um, and... What I think we should do now, since we haven't had any defeats, we should now switch the campaign goal over to play the campaign until we lose. So, if you guys are happy to do it, I'm happy to attempt a... Full map completion, no defeats. Okay, but you know we gotta have the turnout, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Um, Jared Boone did a fight awesome. Very impressive job. Way to live up to your name, legend. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Um, what if Hockland dies? I'll lose to Imperial Authority, so we'll go down to zero. Uh, Gormundius Gorman did a five dollar super chat. Your tier disaster vids helped me win my first ever full Boimer camp as Cathay. One souls race with skin of teeth. Kairos got three out of four. Thanks for the tips. Uh, no, it's my pleasure. Thanks for the super chat. Um, so yeah, I did actually manage to achieve my goal, which was to unite the entire empire. Didn't achieve it exactly how I wanted to. Um, I wanted to confederate them all, but you know. It just wouldn't go up, so we had to fight them. Um, and I did want to get rid of them all, but I wonder actually, could I get the Emperor's expedition welcomes you, comrade? We could really unite the Empire and confederate Marcus Wolfhart. But what I reckon we should do, if we want to go for a no defeat campaign, what we should do is give Marcus Wolfhart loads of money and just let him conquer Lustria, and then we will together together conquer the world, and then at the very end of it, I just bribe him for a confederation. So, it's not the end of this campaign. Now, I don't know if I'm going to live stream tomorrow. Doing a four-day week is definitely less taxing on me than doing a five-day week. I'll think about it. But whatever the case is, this is not the end of this campaign. So, I'm either going to be live streaming this tomorrow, or we'll be back at this again on Sunday. Uh, but we'll have a different goal in mind. And if that's something that you guys want to watch, you know, all you have to do is turn up. And, um, and we'll continue it. You know, if we can you know, maintain good viewership, I'll keep it going. Uh, but let's go chuck a ho host over to somebody, and I'm going to go get some rest. Alright, who should we host today? Let's chuck the host over to Radiant Ash. She's doing a No Twigs Warhammer 2 livestream. No Twigs. So it's Wood Elves. I don't know what it means by No Twigs, but anyway. Let's chuck the host over to Radiant Ash. Um, go and show us her support. What? Cool question. Does Belagar boost Bugmas or just normal rangers? Uh, both. Both. Alright guys, I'm gonna go get some rest. I will see you guys 